हेलो हरा There they go. There go the D-beats. There go the D-beats. <laughs> Konbanwa! <laughs> Moshi Moshi! Hello! Hey guys! What is this? I'm confused. The ballad of a gay ghost. What? 1.2.3.0 I don't know many of those I, mean, I know a couple maybe Hi guys, how are you doing? <laughs> First time catching you live Welcome Jack, thanks a lot That's the version name <laughs> Ah, I see Hell yeah, <laughs> gay ghosts <laughs> That's the version code I see Narihodana? Where in the world is Kalaya Pimori? I'm in Japan. Hey everyone. Uh, first of all, I, I need to address things. I need to address things before we start getting people drunk. Is that cool? Uh, those of you who don't give a shit can just read the uh, the what you call it, the prologue. Okay. Um, so basically, I have a scotch and a water. Hold the scotch. It's a good order. All right, barkeep is on it. So, here's the deal. Oh, yatta! Okay, the emotive deadbeat membership is now open. That was fast. Okay, um, so people have informed me that there is now, um, a membership gifting option. Oh boy! Gifted five memberships from Kyle. That's great and whatever. Um, thank you very much. I'm glad. Welcome. Um, however... I was trying to turn this off. Um, myself and some others recently got this, and we've been like, uh, where can we turn it off? Where can we turn it off? Gifting goes to the wrong tier. Jesus Christ. Yeah, um, so we're trying to find the way. I'm frantically contacting, uh, contacting the staff. Um, because, you know, membership streams, we're just gonna have to deal with the possibility of antis for a little bit, guys. That's just how it has to be while I wait for YouTube to let us disable it. Lol, you can't. Great. Um, so I need to find a way to get YouTube to, like, put it on the right tier. Um, because, yeah, if it's going to the wrong one, then, uh, whoopsie doodle. So this is not what I want. So I'd like to ask you guys, I know that I can't really make everyone not gift them. It goes to the nearest tier to $5, no matter what the tiers are, alas. God, that sucks so bad because then everyone paying $5 a month for, um, for, what is it? Videos for three membership streams every, every week. That's, dang it, that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> YouTube won't respond, ask Ame or Korone. I've already been like talking to the team. I like added everyone, so I can't disable it, sadly. I can't. That's the thing is that YouTube says no. <laughs> YouTube says no. They're like, hi, no, we want you to make money. And I'm like, what? Um, so we're just gonna have to deal with the possibility of some not so savory folks being in memberships, membership only streams. However, guys, to be completely honest with you, I've still seen some such folk in my membership stream. So we just have to deal with it. Um, of course, YouTube says no. They want the money. Can I make the regular tier 5.01? Unfortunately, YouTube has a rule where you can't change the price afterwards. So I have to do a membership overhaul. I'm gonna ask you know what she did? What Ina and Ame did. I'm gonna send them a quick message. They might not be up right now, but I'm just gonna quickly. Hey. How did you handle ship gifting? Wow, I typed that all in the darkness. Um, so yeah, anyway, I would I would like to ask you to please not. You've heard that Korone turned them off? Well, you could turn them off in the beginning. You could. Um, I watched the tutorial, and now the, the checkbox is gone. It's not in the place that it was in the tutorial anymore. Um, so yeah, I'd just like to ask you guys kindly, please don't gift them. If you do, I'm not going to respond to them. 
Um, and I will also, like, I, I would just, I'm not going to be mad either. I'm not going to say thanks for gifting the subs. Um, I'm not going to be angry about it, but it's just, yeah, we can't do anything about it, unfortunately. So I'd like to ask you, please don't give subs. Um, I'm not going to put something up on the screen that says, please don't give subs, because then people will do it. Um, so, yeah, it might be moved to another section. That's what I'm asking the team right now. I'm waiting for them to get back to me. So, um, so we shall see. <laughs> Shut up, Marcus Manessis. Stop, you did not. How hard would it be to overhaul the membership price? Um, I think that it would boot everyone out of membership. Is what I read. Um, everyone that was a member of that tier would be kicked out. So, YouTube's all, yeah, super slow and all. So we'll figure it out, but this is, this is just what we have to do for now, okay? So we just have to deal with, um, with that. And the good news is, even in membership streams, there is the ban hammer. So that's the good news. Um, I can ask my mods to be more heavily involved in my membership streams. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, I don't want to make tier one any more expensive than it already is. Uh, so, I still don't understand what it is. Don't worry about it then. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. We're going to play Valhalla. Playing some Valhalla. You have mods? I do. I do. J Chad. And friends. <laughs> J Chad and friends. So, but, you know, in the same vein, I'm cool with having an emote only membership. Um, as well um it's fine but i may remove it later i'm just talking to the team so let's just you know have a good time today and not worry too much about this conundrum um we'll figure it out later i'm not the only holo mem having this issue right now because several of the other en mems got this uh happening today so yeah, the almighty mod squad that resides in the shadows. Anyway, uh, let's load up our game. And let's get everybody drunk now. We're in my room. So let's see. Uh, we renewed my membership to Shining Fingered. And I'll have no problem at work today focusing. Happy not birthday. Is it your birthday or is it not your birthday? Did we read the news? Let's see. New blog. What I do to relax. What a diva. Uh, maybe we haven't read this. You wouldn't believe this shocking. Hiramiki secret. Oh boy. We'll take a look at one of the most popular acts of our time. How did she get started? Don't miss it. Content blocked in your region. That figures. <laughs> what is this? Alice Rabbit might be a Kira Miki fan. Oh, at first I thought I thought that they were implying that Kira Miki was Alice Rabbit. What a narrative that would be. You might be wondering. <laughs> this isn't an easy I'm getting tired of your shit, Miss Smithy. <laughs> Ooh, hackers. So scary. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see. Uh, crime rate up 5%. That's no good. We got to get more people drunk. Making the road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. What is Mega Christmas? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, it is December. White Knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. Poverty and the lack of opportunities are no longer the main causes of crime. Well, what the fuck is it? They come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs, those drugos, for no other reason than the fact it gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families. It's about domination. Their entire sector is controlled by these dangerous gangs. And there's no solution in sight. This mega Christmas will be a very dark one. Nice. Fearmongering. Very cool. All right. Let's continue onward to the dangerous you. Have we read this already? I never left. I was lurking. No, we read this thread. What about this one? No, we read all these. Last time it was the leaks. December 17th. So 
okay, we haven't read this because I don't remember anyone saying sick memes. <laughs> it's officially happening. What do you think will happen? Probably nothing. Last time it was the leaks. I thought Alice jumped the shark with that one because it seems hard to top. Maybe more leaks? Sounds unlikely. I don't think the government would let that happen twice. But this is Alice we're talking about. There's nothing they can't do. What if that spooky message wasn't really Alice, but just an epic prank? <laughs> epic prank. Who would hack a site like this just for a prank? Not me. You're right, though. It might be someone else. We'll have to wait and see. What was the date again? December 17th? Right, if only we knew more about the target now. Sick meme, sis. Sick, sick meme. <laughs> epic. Epic for the win. Sick meme, sis. Meeky sisters. Everyone on the internet um, is female until proven otherwise, by the way. These Alice threads piss me off. Fucking e -celebs. What if it has something to do with the terrorism the terrorism rumors? The threads closed. So let's get the fuck off the internet. Um, welcome Jill. Are you ready to go to work? Scared? A bit. Cute. Yeah, their comments do change over here, huh? I didn't notice that a second ago. Shall we go to work? <laughs> Female dog to be specific. Dorothy appreciation stream. Let's get started. Good evening. I have my special apple juice with me tonight. I need to get drank my my dranky on the special apple juice. One second. She reacts to all the stories on the phone. Nice. It's cool. Okay, juice time. Hope you guys got your smackerels with you. We're in for a long ride. Special apple juice? Yeah, it's got ice cubes in it. Who drinks apple juice with ice cubes in it? Me! <laughs> As soon as you get you hooked on the apple juice, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just into apple juice these days. I know it is. I have to remember everyone's voices, by the way. Because I may, may or may not have forgotten them. Please be patient with me. Here we go. Good evening. Hello. Ugh. Seems you made it just in time. I think that's just a car backfiring. It could be. What did I just open? What application did I open? What is this? Ableton. No, shut! I'm not making music now. Ableton, fuck off. No, we're not making- we're not doing DTM! Alright, we're fine. We're fine. You remember Gil's though? Gil's easy to remember. Really? It sounded more like a gunshot to me. Have you ever heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well... See? Sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know, it's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. Oh, hold on, here we go, here we go. One, one octave down. What if it's a firecracker? Ah. Hey, boss. Firecrackers? Yup. A couple of years ago, there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual mega Christmas firecrackers. Mm, nah. Sounded too hollow for firecrackers. This is like a... <laughs> this is like a... Calliope Mori does a bunch of voices and reads a story, story time to the deadbeats while making drink stream. I love it. Especially because I've been thinking about voices these days. Echoey. Oh, shit. I had that on for a recording I was doing for a secret video. Well, whatever. This is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit chat about meaningless things. At least, not amongst yourselves. Right. We shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. Hey! <laughs> what a silly. What a shitty baka. Gillian, did you know that you're a shitty baka? Shiribaka, shiriba. Shiri ass in the shit. Let me shake it up. Nighttime maneuvers. Your love is a drug. The answer lies within reminiscence, digital drive, neon district. Follow the trail. Meta, meta, burning out day. Matsuno Dakuren. Next up. Time to drink lives and mix changes. 
Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, there's a new, there's a new guy. All right. Hold on. Hello, I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? What can you tell me about a girl nicknamed Crimson, Crim, Crimson, Crim, Crimson, 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 Crimson Rose? Huh? Sounds like a tacky online handle. Although tacky online handle is a, a bit redundant. <laughs> well, do you know anything about her? <laughs> Your voice is funny. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> you got him pegged immediately. Well, he looks like he'd have a nasally voice. I have $80 here that might refresh your memory. Now that you mention it, I remember something. Really? Yeah. Now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever who you're talking about. Eh, nothing at all. <sighs> nothing. Big sorry. Man, you're a sucky bartender. Not having any of the info I need. <sighs> well, first of all, why assume I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Well, well I... And second, you're not going to get anywhere by offering me physical money. I only take crypto. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mobbed so... Sorry, mugged? Kind of the same thing so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you really think $80 is enough? You can do... <laughs> this guy has crypto... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he probably does. You can do almost nothing with $80. It's not enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scolding me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? Uh, I... Wait, of course. You want all deals to be clean, so you need me to spend money on the bar. Um, well, not... That's how it works, right? I spend money. You give me the info. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, then get me a drink, but keep it under 80 bucks. Um, 80 bucks. Let's see what kind of drink you can buy with that. Buy type. Cheap as fuck? <laughs> Poor guy, he must be new. <laughs> he must be new. Let's see. Well, let's just start from the very beginning and see what we can get. Just the cheapest shit. $80 drink. Oh. Gut punch. All right, let's make him super drunk. One of these. They really want to put that much in there for him, though. Eh. Decently drunk is fine with me. Here you go. Here. <clears throat> okay, then. Do you know anything about the girl? No. But you you said maybe maybe not. Turns out that it's maybe not. You were the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. And like I said, eighty dollars is nothing. So I need to spend more. I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want. But I know nothing, and no amount <laughs> will change that. Could I at least get my money back? Why? The order is right, isn't it? Uh, I guess. So, why are you looking for that girl, mister? Vaughn Delay. Art Vaughn Delay. I'm a private detective. It's what I do. Oh, wow. Are you sure you're not a hacker? <laughs> so I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent. Or lost. She's not? She is half of the so-called Reapers of the city. Do you remember the VTuber Calliope Mori? Well, she was one such Reaper. Two guns for hire that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. 
And they still sound more like teenagers' internet nicknames. It's you, Kalai. Peace, me. Can you believe it? The Reapers? That's definitely me in the future. That's definitely what I decided to do after being a VTuber, and the world becomes like this. This music's jamming. So, who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got the letter with the instructions and a paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with the check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. Still, any information or rumors you could give me, they don't have to be related to the girl. Why do you need them? It's always good to keep up with the local going gods. Well, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, can't think about anything right now. Most of the conversations you hear in here aren't rumor worthy. Humor worthy, maybe. But not much about current events, at least not beyond what you see on the news. Damn it! What kind of bar is this if you can't gather the word on straight? What kind of film noir world do you think we live in? Uh, Gil might know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Crimson Rose is new Cali Dick, babe. <laughs> Good for health, bad for education. Your legend has spread into the future. That's kind of neat. I like it. Do you know something that might help me, Gil? I don't. I certainly don't, and I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. On second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a major waste of time. And here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know. I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough, don't worry. Huh? In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? <clears throat> what can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. <laughs> Simple enough. <laughs> Isn't that like a super heavy drink? Here, let's see, grizzly temple. I wouldn't say so. This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly for fans of the movie. Oh, so yeah, he would get this, huh? It's expensive though, buddy boy. Are you sure? Yeah, get him smashed. He manly. Hmm. He's chuny. This nerd. Time to destroy his liver. Yeah, this looks pretty yucky. All blended. Uh, let's see. Make it a biggin? I was thinking about making it a biggin. Just as a show of good faith for wasting his time, you know? Alright, let's blend this bad boy. Yeah, here we go. There you go. He- <laughs> No, I was gonna use his voice. <laughs> Sorry. Here. Okay, then, this is going to be deducted from the $80 earlier, right? <laughs> what does that even mean? No. Fine. Come on, there has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard is about this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby ball. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Crimson Rose, Reaper's somehow not a Mori fan game. Yeah, a little bit before my VTubing career, right? To <laughs> get real. <laughs> This guy cheap. What a cheap fucker. Can we get a rich dude in here? <laughs> Come on now. The whole thing about a woman catching ca 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 <laughs> catching her mid-air makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from rumors that the Harbingers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today? No, not really. Damn it! Wait, who told you that? It appeared on the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name The Harbingers wasn't used. No Glitch City Outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent. And even the international outlets aren't using the name Harbingers. They're avoiding acknowledging the organization yet for some reason. So you're either one of them or somebody in the know told you about it. Wow, he can be surprisingly sharp. Makes sense, because I guess he's a detective. But <laughs> Callie, permission to kick this nerd out? Yeah, I know. We're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Yeah, Donovan D. Dawson was in here from the last three days, actually. Really? I wonder if he'll notice the glass that idol signed, too. 
I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but... Guess not. Did he talk about anything interesting? Interviewing the idol that had a show a couple of days ago, dealing with messy interns. Apart from the course, I guess. I see, I see. That's... Gunshot! Oh my god! It's a backfire. Firecrackers! Hey, what do you think that sound I just now was? Mr. D -D Detective. That's Mr. Donovan the Hub. <laughs> well, sounded like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close. It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. No, you could clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Oh, whatever it is. It's not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. I heard that there were some gag spats going on. Maybe they took the conflict here. Which means gunshots! If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, I've got to go. Seems coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really, I just uh, have different needs, but there will come a time when this place might help me. Oh, thanks for the huge Aka Spa. What the heck? Really appreciate it. Lol. Lol. <laughs> That's very sweet of you. Thank you so much. Goodbye. I read all super chats at the end of the stream, by the way. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Please come again. Or don't. Gangs, then. Unlikely, this is unicorn territory. They've always been a neutral and important third party in other gangs' deals. The who what now? <sighs> I'll just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. He left me thinking about the whole noise from BTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through bars? Don't take my word for it, though. I see. I guess I'll find out. Soon enough. Welcome streaming chat. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? What is this, Nico Nico? Nico Nico Doga shit. Let's see. Megaphone. On <laughs> streaming chat. Giving you a live video feed of my life and adventures 24 7! Bathroom time and naughty moments only available to premium users. It's only $999.99 a month! Go premium now! Um. It's Friday night and you all know what that means. It's time for streaming chance escapades! Today's escapade is brought to you by Shining Fingers. Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Buy a year of premium membership and you'll get a code. Exchange the code for a free trial of a VR experience modeled after yours truly. Excuse? Today I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole bar that smells like dog urine. <laughs> Excuse me. But no matter, tonight I'll give you an escapade you'll never forget. Hey you, where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very funny. Where is he really? Right in front of you. Hey you, the pretty boy over there, where's the bartender? You're looking at him. No way. No hot shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy, scantily clad girl jiggling around the place? You're telling me you two, just like fucking waiters, are the bartenders here? Yup. Seems that way. Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem. Friday nights are peak viewing hours. I need something sexy or enticing to keep them interested. Oh well, there's an easy solution to that. There is? Yeah, just 
take your top off. You might need to take off your bra too, depending on how the traffic goes. Wait, you're quite flat. Do you even use a bra? Is that piercing glare a no? Come on, one of us is gonna have to take off their top and it ain't gonna be me. I already did that once today. Ah, and it's too late to go somewhere else. By the time I find an even nastier bar, they'll be closed. What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need binary yes or no answers. My viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. If they wanted to use their brains, do you think they'd watch something like this? I need to keep them entertained, and the fact that you still have your shirt on isn't helping! Wait, I know. Give me a drink. A big one. The nastiest one you can think of. Um, hello? Service here, please? Wow, it's like my brain shut down. Er, nasty drink. Manly and promo drinks are both nasty, but that's my opinion. Oh boy. Yucky. Grizzly Temple's pretty yucky. You'd be dead wrong. Zen Star tastes pretty bad. Too much clothing. It hurts to accept the truth. Oi, listen, Deadbeats. You guys don't look like this, right? Right, Deadbeats? Right, Deadbeats? Right, Deadbeats? Right, Deadbeats? Right, Deadbeats? Something strong, yeah. Milk is the best drink for her. <laughs> Send her to the crunk zone. Let me look at the promo drinks. What's happening? Shut up, Nico Nico Doga people! Shut your mouths! <laughs> Crevice Spike? It'll knock the drunkness out of you or knock you cold. See, too much clothing. Let's get her a Zen Star, because it apparently tastes like hot garbo. So, this is like a Long Island iced tea with shit flavor. And it's bland. It's yucky. Four of each ingredient, all on the rocks and all mixed. One, two, three, four. 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 All on the rocks and mixed. Yeah, this looks, it looks pretty, but you know it tastes like shit. You just get that feeling. Okay, um, here. All right then, cheers! I don't think you should chug it down, so... <laughs> Quickly. It's like it hit me, but I didn't feel it until a few seconds later. Is this what being kicked in the balls feels like? Yup. Okay, I decided. I'll just get really wasted. That's gotta be fun enough, right? If you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? Deadbeats, are you listening? <laughs> Don't you talk to them! I'll beat the shit out of you, bitch! She doesn't... Yeah, she does have too much... <laughs> She, she doesn't look how I would expect. <laughs> what do you mean? I want for you to leave. <laughs> Are they invading the place? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen here by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Actually, it's 4,019, so you are a little bit off, but okay. I'll do my best. Uh, let's see then. Last weekend, we held a party for the Safe Fair Toy Company. And? It's a company run completely by dogs. Really? This place was completely overrun by corgis. Wait, 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 wait. Corgis? Did you really serve drinks to corgis? Tuxedo-clad corgis. Yeah. Wow, awesome! Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you. Trust me. What else? What else? Um, let's see. Donovan D. Dawson from the Augmented Eye was here for three nights in a row. <laughs> Oops, we're on a live stream. Maybe you shouldn't say that. Hello, fellow youngsters. <laughs> Callie's VA is tough, Nudge. Uh, nah, I just know this type. Why is everyone so noisy? <laughs> that perfumed chauvinistic bastard! Oh, there's that word again. It's a big word. Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me, actually. What did they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was this small, meek girl with glasses. She seemed a bit bitter, though. I wonder why. But enough about that. Wait, can I see that glass over there? Hmm, sure. That signature. 
Is this Kira Miki's autograph? Yeah, she came here before last concert. Get out! Really? Why is everyone so nice? <laughs> Moon. Is this some kind of secret hidden bar of the stars or something? Not really. We're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on the stage? I've tried to get a meeting with her, but she actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. A very nice girl, actually. She seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does, and it shows. You'd think she'd be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. I knew it! I knew she was nice. Her passion shows in her concerts, you know? She's so spontaneous. Spontaneous. Her performances are never the same. Every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming, warming up like a high-performance computer. The sparks like the flame, da 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 night and today. Can't stop, don't stop, just go your own way. Shine Spark. I find myself singing in the shower all the time. And those who pay premium can hear me sing every day. $999.99 a month, go premium, now. That aside, I was about to call bullshit on what you said. But I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep this glass? No. Pretty please? No. Party pooper. At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that'd make it perfect is if Pretty Boy over there had a past of the KGB. Who told? Yeah, that'd be <laughs> crazy, huh? Are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Give me a big one of those, please. A big bad touch. <laughs> Coming right up. Let's give her a bad. <laughs> a big bad touch. Ooh. Why is everyone so noisy? <laughs> Lol, anime was a mistake. Too much clothing. Ah, I see, I get it. Too much clothing! <laughs> no, the people want what the people want. How do I... Hey, kids, wanna die? <laughs> Tell this guy asking how do I Denko over and over again to fucking get out? Time to get out! <laughs> okay, kids. <laughs> Wanna die? Sorry. Sorry. Okay. All on the rocks and mixed. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three. <laughs> We're nothing but mammals after all. We ain't nothing but mammals. Well, some of us cannibals who cut each other open like cantaloupes. <laughs> Here's your your big bad touch. Did I miss bath time? I don't know what you're talking about. I was expecting something dirtier. Uh, we have olive brine. I can pour in a bit if that's what you want. No, not that. With such a dirty name, it feels like the drink ought to come in a, a phallic glass or be this thick white liquid. Why are you so weird? That would have skyrocketed the watchers at least threefold. Don't you have anything like that? Nope. <sighs> oh my god, look at <laughs> I have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. Friendly reminder that today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe, leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Wait, is that what Jill is a member of? Huh? Is that what she's been using? <laughs> yes. It's $800 a month. Yep, the very same one. Finally, you understand. Jill, what? <laughs> Different thing, but yeah. 
It's one of those sites. All right, well, you know, as long as it makes Jill chill, it's fine. Girl, yeah, girls got needs, yeah, it's cool. Jill, I'm not, it's just, I didn't, I didn't like feel like we'd get to know each other so well. Um, I didn't feel like we'd get to know each other so well so early into the game. But anyway, that that's fine, that's fine. Understandable. I see apple juice. That's okay, that's okay. No judgment here, this is a judgment-free zone. Okay. Buy a year of premium membership for a neat code. Can I get that code? Said code will net you a free trial of a VR experience with a model based on Fua. What's the deal with that VR experience? Well, a fan made an NND model of me. When Shining Fingered asked me about a model for our pingership, I just, pingership, partnership. <laughs> I just contacted him. He got money for polishing the model a lot more. I got my partnership. We all won. I even got him a year of free premium membership and a VR set. You know dude just wanted... You know what dude was... What, what my dude wanted. That's nice. Wait, what's NND? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dance. I asked for a reason. It, well, it's, a, it's music videos with 3D models. Do you know Vocaloid? Yeah, it sounds like a good explanation. I see. To be honest though, the model's a bit meatier than me. Not that I mind it though, considering the use it gets. <clears throat> you know, I was expecting you to be more scared when I said that you're being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't see those people. But they're still there, you know. Sure, they're behind screens and sometimes in the opposite corner of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with a real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. So tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? Yeah, once again, this game is extremely ahead of its time. <laughs> not bots. Are we real people, chat? I don't know. Are you guys real? You sure you're not bots? <laughs> Please don't be bots. It'd be cool if you guys are real. <laughs> I want danger here to leave. I'm real. I think so. Beep boop. <laughs> Beep boop. What is really? I'm usually real. Usually. Sometimes, not all the time. Yeah. <laughs> like that. I'm not sure. <laughs> We're real! Sakusan, arigato! Sakusan's real! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm fucking with you. I took the blue pill. So tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? Um, it's not... <laughs> That's surreal, are they not fellow humans? Fellow kids? It's not exactly an exciting story. Does it involve... <gasps> Dan. No. What about a crime? Nope. A childhood promise? Nah. A religious vow? A what? You're not gonna tell me that you just decided out of the blue to quit your job and start bartending. That's actually what happened, sorta. Oh, come on, no epiphany? Quarter life crisis? Not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line? <clears throat> <coughs> Life isn't always a young adult novel where every decision is a red co is a road cone. And that's a problem. One third of my audience are teens, and that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. Throw me a bone here. They mu there must be a nice mystical story you can tell me about yourself, Miss Bartender. Well. Yes. Sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was a DRK S0L, a really old Lilla model. Apparently his power supply was running low. His charger was destroyed and he didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seemed to have neglected his maintenance. He was from the time when the collective source wasn't a cloud storage system. So he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Keep going. It was weird, you know? He was the only Lilum I've ever seen with a clear-cut fear of mortality. 
no transcendence for him. He would disappear once his batteries ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Oh, man. I guess he felt bad about burdening someone else with his problems. So he went and gave me a fingertip of his and that fell while we were talking. Before he left, he said, if you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. Um. Bravo! Bravo! Touching, full of feeling, completely awesome! I'd pay to see a movie like that. So, what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it. I carry it with me at all times. Even while bathing? Almost all times. Now that I think of it, how do you handle the stream if you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plugin that lays mosaic censorship over what I watch on TV or in the theater. I see. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm gonna heat this up this even. I'm gonna heat this up this even if I have to do it myself! We need to drop a cow in here. Miss Bartender, get me drunk. I don't care how, just do it. Okay, she's asking me to get her drunk no matter what. That's an interesting request. Well, let's see. Let's start from the beginning. A very good place to start. Something full of alcohol. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. A big fringe weaver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. She's gonna die. Here we go. Oh, shit. You're done for, bitch. You're, oh, you're over. <laughs> so? I hit this clumsy tongue. Palm sweaty, knees weak, arm spaghetti. <laughs> Kefi on my legs. I'm finished. <laughs> There's vomit on my sweater already. Kefi on my legs. <laughs> All right, let's get it on with the loot stuff. First, I'll try to guess your bust size. I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. Hmm, I'd say. B. Not big enough to fill a hand, but not small enough to make you look like a little one. You're a size B, right? I'm not discussing my bust. Don't be like that. I can tell you're a B cup. Your attitude makes me think you're an S, and your behavior makes me think your blood is A, B. So, how many did I hear right? Who knows? Ah, please let me get on with this. I need you to cooperate if this is going to be a success. Can I ask something? Finally! What's the point of getting drunk if you're going to behave the same way? <laughs> I guess it is kind of redundant. Because you see, I'm drunk 24 7. Uh. Knowing people want to watch me do anything and everything, seeing the viewer count steadily rise as I take more risks and become more adventurous, it's a feeling that neither alcohol, nor the, nor the, the, the acts of the, of the, of the, of the thing where you put the thing inside the thing can compare to. Speaking of the thing inside the thing, if I get lucky tonight, you only need to pay $99.99 to see what happens afterward. Go premium or go home. Um, do you really get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? You'd be surprised how many are actually turned on by that. How do you deal with people who don't want their identities revealed? Everything's written here. By being captured by this camera, you hereby provide consent to the use of your face on all material provided by Streaming Chan LLC. I'm not sure how legal that is. People believe it is, and I've yet to be troubled by a lawyer. It's funny, though. When you're on the street, unless it's somebody really hot, you can't recall their faces, but learn their name, and suddenly they're a fucking snowflake that's better than all the rest. Huh. This is weird. I'm feeling sleepy. You did ask me to get you drunk. Why is it weird? Because I haven't felt sleepy in quite some time. In fact, I'm being sleep deprived for a while now. How long? A week. A week? Weeks are the ones with 30 days, right? 
Um. Yep, totally sleepy. I can feel my eyes getting heavier. And there's this weird lag when I try to move. What's up with that? Anyways, think I'll take a little nap here before storming off, continuing tonight. You'll excuse me. She's just like you, for real. What you're talking about. No, you're talking about. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you guys and pretend like having like a, a nice little whiskey on the rock doesn't calm the nerves. Especially for a shy person. It's easy to get nervous when you've got such an audience. You know? I won't lie to you guys and pretend. <laughs> it's nice. It takes the edge off. But have you remembered to sleep this month? Um, eh, you know. <laughs> She's just like Callie for real. Yeah, all the lewd things I do on stream. Haha. <laughs> so relatable. <laughs> we even look the same with the heterochromia. <laughs> Lol, you can relate. Maybe a bit. Um, what? Do you want me to lie to you? <laughs> Never too late to start. I'm good. I think I'll pass on that. <laughs> That's why we pay membership, of course. Shut up, Ricardo! You're lying to them! <laughs> You're lying to them, Ricardo! Stop it! He's lying! He's lying! She looks more like Iris. Oh, yeah, true enough. Well, anyway, money. She's finally sleeping. Should I call a cab? At a risk waking her up? Leave her be. I'd rather break the rules and let her sleep than deal with her again. I'm gonna take my break now. It's been a while since I've needed a cigarette this badly. Now Jill takes a smoke break. No, she's not flat-chested. What are you talking about? Does that bitch have eyes? Not at all. Well, anyway. Back to business as usual. Fastest smoke break ever. It's now safe to keep playing. That's a B? No, at least a C. Yeah, C. That's what I was gonna say. B isn't full. She called her flat in the beginning. I'm keeping receipts on what people say. First of all, she's a C. A hundred percent. Anyway. Ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you've forgotten something. All done. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. Yeah, some fresh air from taking a smoke break. <laughs> well, for a given value of fresh, anyway. Let's see, I insist it sounds like dynamite. Who is this? No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded more like some heavy-duty tool. You're a heavy-duty tool. Ooh, ooh, fuck that guy up. Easter egg. Try the keyboard shortcuts. I-O-P-K-L. Let me see. I? <laughs> Cute little... Ouch! Ooh-woos. Oh. <laughs> what happened? We're stripping. P. Punch, 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 punch. Yes, premium win. Wada 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 kusa 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 kusa. You can spam it. Wada 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 Oh, whoa, new people! New people. Hmm. Maybe this one has a lighter voice. And then there's a robot. A robot dude. Hmm, naruhodo ne? Let's see. <clears throat> I could have sworn this place. Monkey. Monkey. The YouTube monkey. YouTube, why? <laughs> YouTube really didn't like that voice, eh? Come on, Susan. We were having a good stream. Susan. How do I denko? What a deal. Too powerful. The deal was too good. Come on. We back? Deal broke the stream. He did not like that. I see that I'm live. Arede? Uh, 
Uh oh, it's too dark. Oh, we're back. Okay. After kicking out literally every <laughs> kicking everyone out for the bar. I'm sorry you don't like Deal's voice, YouTube. Deal with it. <laughs> Get it? It's a little jo little jokey I made. Quick reload. Just refresh. Refresh. Let me type refresh in the darkness. I can't see shit. Refresh. Yeah. Oh, expert. I'm such an expert. <laughs> deal with it. Haha. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> Get it? Gillian, nice to meet you. I don't know. You have more of a John face. Where was he last weekend? I don't know, and I don't care. He already made amends for leaving me to fend off all these dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, what the hell? I'll have a beer, too. Two beers coming right up. All right, let's get them two beers. Let's see. Let's get them, let's get them the brewskis. A powder delta. Two of these and four. Carmatrine. We need to make two of these. Let's see, all mixed. And then one of these. Two of these bad boys. A powder delta. Two of these and four of these bad boys. And all mixed. Serve. Here you go. Thank you. Man, after work beer is always the best beer. Yeah. So tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill? That's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars, so... It's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite the change of pace, huh? You have no idea. Um, I have a question, Jill. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? <coughs> Please don't wake her up. Do you regularly let people sleep here? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Should you be saying that with at least 6k people listening? Let them hear. I don't care. 6k people? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24-7. That sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing someone like that. I don't know if it's the same person. So... 6,000 people are watching and hearing us. Considering the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing us. Her camera is against the table. I don't know how many are still in the channel, though. I see. So there will be a lot more witnesses if something's said? Do any of you have a criminal past? Nope. Just a minor charge of petty vandalism. What did you do? Painted graffiti outside of my high school saying, Miss Thompson's... Why why'd you do that? <laughs> because Miss Thompson was a <laughs> She constantly humiliated whoever got her questions wrong. She also constantly bullied two of my classmates. True, I got a week of suspension and had to clean the wall. But it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So, how's stuff at Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell. It's that textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. I hope we get to meet her. <laughs> oh yeah, we had her here some time ago. She got drunk and, uh, so much saliva everywhere. Oh. But anyway, dog clothes? We hired a new employee, and she showed the higher-ups some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know? But something... <laughs> what a deal! I'm having too much fun with him. But something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see. I'll have a Brantini. Two Brantinis, then. Let's get him two Brantinis. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh lordy. Lordy lordy, look who's 40. Not me. I'm not 40. I wouldn't be 40. My age is no. All aged and mixed. Well, this makes life easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one. Aged. Serve. Here you go. You have such a wimpy taste in drinks deal. Not all of us spent their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. You missed something. You missed nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Hmm. Something on your mind? That girl that's designing the clothes. Laura, what about her? She's so cute, but she could take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits the unkempt cutie category so well that it's almost painful. It's so cliched that I can't help but cringe when I look at her. Cringe? Sorry. <clears throat> cringe? It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie cliche. How did this game predict 2021 slash 22? I don't get it. I don't get it. How did they tell the future? You just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. K kick Betty, I don't think I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but you should not kick people. I wasn't going to kick her. Why do you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently, unprovoked or due to complicated reasons, only you understand. Fine. Guilty as charged. She got a big forehead, actually. I just noticed that. Still, I'm gonna do... Don't, don't tell her that. She'll kick me. Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential, and I'm not going to let her waste it. Oh, it's our, it's our buddy. It's, it's, it's boss. Jill, I'm going to go check the antenna on the roof. All right. She is your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? No, I'm just the veterinarian. The dogs were the ones that organized a meeting with her. I'd say she's really good looking, but honestly, those pants rob her of her charm. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight, and at a glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or skirt would fit her better. Hmm. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There was also this one time where she came in wearing a, a kilt. That kilt was awesome! Damn. She has nice hearing. Hold on. Hold on. Now that I think about it, you have that hobby of speculating when someone's personality is like based just on their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing, you actually made that sound weird as hell. Yes, I have the habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it is not It is not a hobby. You made that sound like I'm some sort of creep. Fuck you. Uh, I did. What do you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you were too polite. Not a natural polite, though. More like... A professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. That was it, really. Although, the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in what I said. Like, you'd like to see that scenario. You're thinking too much. What do you think about Gil, then? Hmm. Mm -hmm. He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Yeah, there are more of them than you would think in this world. Furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. 
I'll have... You'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your taste and drinks. You'll thank me later. Trust me. Then... Two strong drinks. Manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Well... You shut up. Two strong drinks. Manly drinks. That's why... <laughs> I mean, she means dogs. All right, well, well, whatever. I choose to. I choose to think something else. Manly drinks. Manly. Manly, manly, manly. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Sour, manly, sobering. And I'll knock the drunkness out of you, or knock you out cold. Let's see. How about a uh, Mars blast? Spicy, manly, strong. All right, I want to get the manly drink with the most karma train in it. Three, for, all right. Suplex is winning, isn't it? Oh, but I can do optional ones here. For the crevice spike, I can fuck them up. I can destroy them. That pile driver has got four. And a gut punch. All aged and mixed. Gut punch, let's get him an expensive drink. Crevice spike. Yeah, one of these has to be manly and strong. Oh, yeah, manly and strong. All right, this will work because then I got the optional one. I got the optional karma train in here. One, two, three, four, five, one. And then we load it. Time to die, idiots. We're blasting off, all aged and mixed. Plot two, one, two, three, four, five, one. Die, you big bozos. Okay, and uh, aged. All right, mix. It's a gut punch. Serve. <clears throat> Here. Now, drink. Gah. Gah. Oh, man up. You'll get used to it. Hey, Jill. Has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? You know, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal it was all a prank? Jill? First year of high school. The guy I had my eyes on for a whole year asked me out. Saturday morning, I... Go to the meeting place. I find it was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part isn't that they set me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all, so when it happened, I felt nothing. They confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. Anyway, why the question? But Jill, hella cute. I know, right? So cute. But the good news is, the good news is life goes on beyond high school, right? I think that Jill's gonna find someone fantastic. Maybe her boss, even. And then and then she'll forget all about that that stupid guy from the past, right? And those, those dumb bitches. I bet they're all playing... I bet that they're all housewives playing tennis getting drunk on wine every day, raising five kids, staying home all day, watching watching Netflix and drinking wine and going to the tennis club and living drama-filled lives with their high school friends who are still their friends into their 50s and their husbands don't love them. And it's sad, but that's how it is. And things don't change for them. But you're fine, Jill. You're fine. You'll be okay. Stop the... <laughs> You live a fun life as a bartender full of interesting people. Your boss is cool. Your boss might be in love with you. You love your boss. Those damn tennis players. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just know too many. Projecting. I'm not projecting. I'm just trying to give some hope. Oddly specific. Okay, well, go take a drink. No. No, only apple juice. Apple juice from now on. I'm just saying it sounded personal. It's not. <laughs> Callie loves her boss. No! 
There is- I have no feelings for you, go. Stop. It's not true. It's not true. <laughs> I'm almost out of apple juice. Ali X go, stop it! Stop! I need to get my hold on. Apple juice. Carton. It's okay, your secret's safe with us, all four thousand of you. <laughs> Is J Chad isn't no! No. J Chad's not my type anyway. I'm not I'm not into I'm not into how do I say? What even is a type, though, to be honest? I don't really buy all that shit. Maybe at a glance, but no, there's nothing. <laughs> Besides, it's fucked up. That should not be normalized. <laughs> J-Chad's too tall. <laughs> no, she's... Look, she's busy as I am, all right? Anyway, let's continue on. Hey, piece of scrap. <laughs> Are these two together? Don't let her treat you like this. Hey, quit being a hoe. <laughs> Wow, I see who wears the pants. The pantaloons. Yeah. These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. <laughs> Jesus. He's whipped. Nah, they just homies. Is your type short? No, no, I don't have a type. It doesn't exist. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question, though? Um... I was asking because one of my ex's- one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of- I'd be straight with that- I would pretend to be straight- Ah, oh, I see. Okay, okay, gotcha. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vera, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I'd suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you've told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Water boarding. I see, what? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me the most. The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer, and I see nobody making a fuss about that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor in if Gina's being honest about her, she probably won't feel offended. Gina, which one is that again? Blonde, flat as a cutting board, but cute as a button. Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late, we should be going. Yeah, thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye. Please come again. Oh, it's the, hey boss. Back. Those damn cats moving the internet antenna. Oh yeah, Gil, some guy said I should tell you that the bunny's late or whatever that means. Oh shit, the boss I'm leaving early if I don't come back in two days, consider me good as dead. Yeah, yeah. Should I be worried? Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah, he'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didgeridoo tutorial. Hello, Joel-sama! Hello, Jill. Ah, oh, Stella! You here for another drink today? Not really, I was just around the neighborhood and... Right. Anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house. And I thought someone who likes old liquor as much as you would appreciate it. Really? I don't know what to say. Thanks. Well, it's nothing really. This just- <clears throat> Sorry, hold on. This just in. Hmm? The Apollo Trust Bank has locked its doors, leaving out about 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank- Oh god, say! I wonder if she'll be alright. No, oh, fuck. Not say. Oh, hello, Jamie. <laughs> oh, yes. 
good evening, Jill. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? The news flash just ended. <laughs> Sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Gil stormed off just a moment ago, though. I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Coming right up. Jamie wants a Mars Blast. Not the Jamie voice. I need Jamie and Deal to have a convo. <laughs> this is too fun. I'm having so much fun coming up with these freaking voices. Let's see. All right. Can't make a big one of these, but this is a big boy drink anyway. Put on your big boy pants, Adam. Let's see. One, two, three, four, and two Karmatrine all blended. Here we go. Boom, ba -ba boom, boom, boom. Stop. Mars Blast. Hold on. Hey, Jamie, you want some bar snacks? Deep Adam Sandler. <laughs> well, yeah, blame the deadbeats. You guys, all right, one of you guys came up with the whole idea. All right, look. Someone said he looks like Adam Sandler with a mustache. And that's just how it goes. It reminds me of Invader Zen. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one thing for it to remind you of. Professional tier voice acting? Thanks, I'm thinking of getting into voice acting these days because of this game. No, nah, it's on you. Yeah, maybe. Don't blame me. Bam that guy. Nah, give that, make that guy a mod. Make him a mod of the stream. All right, serve. One Mars Blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blast of all, sorry. Then again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. Hold on. Changing my settings. <laughs> VR. Can't believe I'm hanging myself. <laughs> hey, who is this girl? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24-7. I'm guessing her equipment's still running, so you might want to watch what you say. Well, thanks for the advice. Changing the subject a bit. Have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? Well, I heard a supersonic drone was undergoing tests and lost its course. That must be it. Oh. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. <laughs> hey, boss. The explosions were caused by supersonic drones. Ah, well that sounds better than firecrackers. We've been trying to figure out what they were all day. Ah, I see. Sonic booms are not sounds people can normally identify. And this one drone made a lot of noise when breaking the sound barrier. Is this an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not, which makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Ah. Uh. Man, if only Gil were here to hear that info. To hear that info. You thought they were gunshots. Are you worried about them? Sort of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried, but at the same time, I've just kind of become used to it. He can be a troublesome man, huh? Mm, sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be all right? This isn't the first time a bank is closed like that, but something is... Hmm, off about this. Off? How? I don't know, maybe it's the hour. Maybe it's the fact that the news is making an unusually big stink out of it. Big stink out of it. <laughs> Why did I... When did we become Porky Pig? <laughs> Let's hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? A girl that was here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to the clients, but... Ah, <sighs> uh, never mind. Do you want anything else? Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. All right, let's get him a beer then. You look like you want a big beer, my man. Something that Donovan D. Dawson, 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 Dawson would drink. One, two, three, four... One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixed. Here you go, Jamie. 
Here. I once read the beer played an important part in humanity's history. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. The gist of it is that brewing was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting. They helped to foster bonds and build faction alliances. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. You seem to know a lot about this. Ah, just enough. Jill, have you ever thought about brain uploading? Brain uploading? I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Let's say you upload yourself and effectively that new someone's in cyberspace. You will still be here. Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a you that's not you somewhere? That's an interesting point. I guess it'd be the same as cloning, huh? Imagine if your cyberspace self found out about the real you somehow. Oh, imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in different situations. Exposing each one to different scenarios to see how they develop. I guess it is kind of heartbreaking in a way. Imagine someone with some illness uploading their brain into the ether, only to find out their physical bodies are still alive and here instead of living in a place where there is no disease. This is some Black Mirror shit, the fuck? How do they predict Black Mirror too? That's wild. Tasty snacks, just like Star Wars. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, I meant Star Wars. Yeah. I fill them to the brim with Garmin Train. <laughs> or Soma. Oh, yeah, Soma. That's true also. Quite an old sci-fi trope. True enough. Head of his time. Oh, this is Soma. <laughs> is that something that's in Soma, too? It is a popular philosophical question in science. Oh... Time Traveler from the Future Made Escape. Black Mirror is 2011. Ah. Dang. Ah, that's right. Now that I'm thinking about it, I remember I learned about Black Mirror in school because we were kind of studying, like, what they did and whatnot, and that was 2011. Damn it. Ah, well. Still, interesting concept. I feel like, yeah, this is like a science fiction trope anyway, but... Yeah. Yum, yum. You want some bar snacks, Jamie? Well, yeah. Don't mind if I do. I remember an article for a while back ago, the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scan the brain in such a thorough and intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. I used the words burn the brain instead of burn my bread, which is a popular reference to the old video game Persona 3, which I happen to be a big fan of. Ouch. Great taste in Persona games, though, Jamie. You're you're super based. That's yeah. Mhm. Mm Agreed on that one. All for nothing because data would be corrupted or broken. They halted all brain uploading research after that. I think they started another project about living brains in jars or something like that. Ah, that subject interests you, huh? <laughs> Might be projecting a little. I don't know what you're talking about. I never project. <laughs> Come on now. Anyway. It makes for a nice time sink when I'm doing nothing. Well, them, nice talking to you, Jill. Same here. Always a pleasure. See, you know, it's really for me when it comes back. I'm bad at sand. Head cannon. Jamie is the great, 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 great grandson of Adam Sandler. Please come again. We love Jamie. All done. Mmm. Thank goodness. Oh, hey, balls. One sec. <coughs> you want to stay here? Seem to st seems that the streets are quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nano camo module for my apartment. It should be installed by now. Nano camo? Isn't that a tad expensive? Yep. To be honest, I asked my mom for it. <laughs> She's been pestering me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. She's been asking that for four years. She's been asking that for four years now, and I've always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked her for it. Used up all the past gifts. Oh, feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. Yeah, I'm sure that she doesn't mind. So, what will the Nano Camo module change for your apartment? What will the Nano Camo module change from your apartment? I got the basic plan. <laughs> Walls and one piece of cloth. 
So, I picked my Kotatsu too. Huh? You have a Kotatsu? You know what a Kotatsu is, boss, right? I'm more impressed you know... I'm more impressed that you know what it is. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but a Kotatsu? Not so much. Yeah, well, days get cold and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate the place with that. Let's plan a day to grab a beer, yeah! You... <laughs> You know that Jill inside is like, <laughs> No more dancing. Bees in the trap. Bees in the trap. I'm tired. Ayo, hey, what do we do with her? Uh, I'll take care of everything. Don't worry. All right, sorry for leaving her like this. No problem. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Yeah, nice. Mmm, flawless service bonus. Woo! <laughs> Weeaboo boss, oh come on. A lot of people know what a Gatatsu is. Hey. Jill wants to buy a fan, even though it's winter. Buying one will prevent her from getting too distracted. You have no new notifications. Okay. Buy her a fan, even though it's winter. That's cute. I love that. All right, sure. Best boss. <laughs> what is your obsession with the boss? You need to take that down before boss comes over to you. To your place. Where's the fan? Mega Christmas tree. Is this the fan? Vintage gaming, shoulder massager, paper lantern, Joker Cyclone, it's just a fan. You're about to buy it, confirm. There we go. We have so much shit. Let's see how much. Let's get something nice and cheap just for fun. Let's see. Cute clay house. I want something for my my home. Alex figurine. His beard grows in real time? Give me that shit. Buy the common rider fan? Electric fans are good for white noise. A PC9X? Can I do some PC gaming? All the cumbersome load times as they were meant to be. But of course. Give me the paper lantern too. Alright, cool. Beer on discount. Let's see. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. You can use the nanocom. Nice. Uh, let's see, nanocom. A. Eh? There's my paper lantern. I got a PC to play games. Play Model Warrior Julianne. Fuck yeah! It's lovely punishment. It it's lovely punishment. Justice will be there. Enter. X to shoot. Arrow keys to move. Okay, hold on. X to shoot. X. Where's X? Okay, arrow keys to move. Oh, Toho! Bum, 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 bum. I love the tracks for this. Ah, Tasukete! You ah, fuck you! No, I can play bullet hell games. Stop it! No! Die, you fuck! No! Ah, Want to try again? Yes! Nah. <laughs> anyway, Toho. Is it the start of the Toho arc? I'm good. I want to customize my room. Something to liven up this room. What's a nano camo? Let's see. I bet I can use this. Aha! Uh -huh. Nano camo app. Nano camo! Incredible augmented eye. Mascot. Kamo Tang is our mascot. She's designed by veteran character designer from Sukebang Games, Kiririn51. Born on January 1st. Sorry, January 24th. Bust85 wastes. Well, thank you for sharing with us. Hi. Hip90. Oh, I see. They're going with the 75 ratio, which is supposed to be the 
like the optimal, like, like the prime, like what most people are naturally attracted to is the is the waist being 75% of uh, the, the bust and the hip. I see, I see. Most characters are like this. The three sizes. Likes Musashi Battleship. Back to cool fashion and peach cake. What a cutie. Let's see. About. Customize. About. Nano Camo is a company founded in 2068. Right before the nice number. I see. And pioneer of the nano machine fabric capable of real time texture swap. And for military use, we bring our products to the general public at the most affordable prices. 75% explain. Uh, I read it in, um, in a, a study about what people are naturally attracted to when it comes to uh, the female figure, but almost 68 near nice. But TBH, I think, I think it's all cute. Hundo percento, cute. Rectangle, fuck yeah. Walls, let's see. Any cool patterns? Ooh, cheetah print. Red. Oh, it's it costs money. I see. Well, I spent all my money. Let's see. Darkness. Let's see. Oh, cool. How much money do I have? I used all of it. Fuck. All right. Well, got to just got to go to work again, I guess. No worries. What's up with the news? Pollution to reach historic levels next year. Most countries in the world have adapted their economics to solve the ongoing problem of climate change. Glitch City still relies on ancient technologies to keep its cost low with profits high. It seems as though we'll experience a huge increase in air pollution. Our contamination levels have forced whole populations to move away from a lot of areas within the city. The soil is dying at an alarming pace. How long until someone says pollution is good and there is a book? <laughs> good game. Good game. Having to buy special raincoats and umbrellas does suck, but experts say you better get used to it. The augmented eye is being attacked by Adobe After Effects staff. Hi, everyone. We take your security seriously at the augmented eye, and we have the obligation to disclose the recent articles Alice Rabbit were vandalized by those who we think is Alice Rabbit themselves are very good impersonators. When I extend our apologies, blah, blah, blah. No one fucking cares. Just give us the tea. Alarms rise as Apollo Trust Bank suffers... To roll wrist attack updating. Hijack screams at screens at downtown Casanova announced what seems to be a roll wrist threat aimed at the Apollo Trust Bank. The information suggests that a currently unidentified bomber is already inside the building. The White Knights counter terrorism unit responded to the threat immediately. However, the bank was then locked down by an external network attack. We might be dealing with a dual threat here, CTU's Chloe Bauer told Adobe After Effects. The bank has been sealed shut using its own disaster prevention system. None of the terminals of the bank were working at the time. The building is basically sealed at this point. The hostages are trapped. Okay. Gotcha. Any new updates? No? Okay, guess I'll die. What's up, Danger? You, Apollo Bank, getting attacked and no one is reporting on it. Are you actually surprised? Considering the nature of their threats, it's clear that Quincy doesn't want to take the blame. What a fucking coward. Do we have any sources there? I'm posting from the site. It looks like someone's inside the bank with a huge bomb threatening to blow up the building. Any demands? They want Quincy to quit and the White Knights disbanded. Wow. So they're actually helping the protesters? Um, that's not the way to help the people. What if this is just a huge false flag to blame the opposition? I wouldn't be surprised, lol. This fucking place, lol. Let's wait for more info. Streaming Chan thread. Oh, fuck my life. Do we go inside? After Effects just crashed while watching this. Worth it. What a coinky dink. Do we even go in? All right. Yes. Fine. Just let me drink some apple juice. Can't fight the curiosity. Did anyone see last night's escapade? She was at the Valhalla bar. It was alright. Bartender was a cutie, but man, she full of herself. Don't care. I'm going next week and ask her for a date. We all know you won't. Pretty sure nobody here has the guts to ask someone out. Is she still sleeping? Yeah, the bartender's been telling everyone they need to be careful with their words, lol. I wonder if there's illegal activity going on here. Like, why would you need to be careful with what you say? Maybe they're avoiding casual racism. True, still, it wouldn't be rare for them to do shady stuff. This fucking city, haha. Is this the same fucking guy from the other thread? Drinking some, some Ringo juice? Indeed I am. 
At least she's sleeping now. Last time I saw her taking some rest was about a week ago. Crash is one hell of a drug. This thread is closed. A white knight just beat me up. I'm fucking crying right now. Let me tell you the story. Waiting for OP to deliver. I'm here anyway. Here it goes. <laughs> Look who's talking. Shut up. There's no guy on D, you're right. I'm sorry, you're right. Everyone's female. I forgot. Everyone on everyone on these boards is female until proven otherwise. I'm here. Anyway, here it goes. I was going home after buying groceries at the store. I was very tired because I had to line up for hours just to buy milk. And when I'm finally out of there, a group of three white knights stopped me and, start, and started asking for my ID and also wanted to see my bag to check if I wasn't a scalper. And once they saw everything was in order, they asked me for a military service ID and just what the fuck? Why would I have that on me? And there's no enforced conscription anymore. It doesn't make sense. And because I didn't have it on me, they asked for money or at least they'd plant drugs on me. I, of course, refused, but they'd lose their patience and one of them hit me, but they, they'd lose their patience. And one of them hit me right in my temple with a gun. I was bleeding like crazy on the floor, so they just took my groceries and left. Holy shit, man. I fucking hate this place. I hate it so much. I want to leave this fucking hellhole. I'm so tired of this shit every fucking day. No response. No one cares. Thanks for the novel. Anyway. I hope my friend is fine, though. That's what I'm worried about. Fun times in town. Um... Uh, Fun times in Sister Town. Let's go back. Can I go to work now? <laughs> Ratio. Mucho texto. Who asked? Lots of F-bombs here. Can I unsub from the block? <laughs> yeah, can I make some room for something else here, maybe? <laughs> Hope says, alright, that one's a bit real. Yeah. Like, I, I feel for them, but I also kind of low-key secretly love the fact that no one fucking said anything. <laughs> nice story, didn't happen. <laughs> Good evening. <coughs> huh? I didn't expect you today. I was waiting for you to call and say you wouldn't be coming or something. Eh, no, Jill is the best. She doesn't, she doesn't give a shit. She's hard. Things at the Apollo Bank are getting ugly, so that means more people will be looking for a drink. Uh, you can take a break, you know. You're quite the hard worker. And the streets are not exactly safe right now. They've never been when you get down to it. And besides, I can't afford to not come with the bar closing soon. I wonder if any bar has unused impending closures or has used impending closures as a means of getting their employees to work. Seems like the total opposite would happen. Not to mention I get bored out of my brains in my apartment, so Ah, I'd rather come here anyway. What did you say? Nothing important. Gil isn't back yet? No, nope. I wouldn't worry too much about him, though. If you say so. That girl's still here. Yup, she was sleeping so peacefully I felt bad about waking her up. So, would you mind doing that for me? Actually, yes, I mind. But you're the boss and it's kind of my fault she's here in the first place. Sorry about that. Hey! Young lady, sleep another hour and we'll have to start charging you a motel fee. We love Streamer Chan. Big fans of Streamer Chan here. Where am I? Oh, right. Uh -huh. The shoddy downtown bar. Let's see. All my gear is in place. And neither my pants nor my pants. Shirt or bra have been displaced? Oh, it's the flat bartender. Good morning. I'm not flat. I'm a C cup, bitch. Good evening. Evening? Oh, well, it's the best night or day of sleep I've had in quite some time. Sorry for all the trouble I may have caused you today or last night. Don't worry. You're so nice, flat bartender. Thanks for taking care of me. Bye. I mean, I think Jill looks like she's got more there than Streamer Chan does, but okay. <coughs> Sorry, Streaming Chan. Hello, guys and gals. Streaming Chan's back in action. Their batteries are reloaded. Ah! The moon! It burns! I feel like I've just unleashed something terrible onto the world. That 
come on, it's not that bad. Say, what's in this bottle? A client gave it to me yesterday. A gift of sorts, I'm guessing. Oh, cool. It's some sort of rum? Rum? Nice. Want me to serve you a bit of it? Hmm, yeah, sure. Let's give boss some rum. Go to the bottle drinks and drag it to the shaker before mixing. Rum, grandpa booze. Yeah. Yatta. Here you go, shot of rum for you, boss, boss lady. Boss lady. Honestly, streaming chance sounds like someone I know IRL. Is that a fact? That eh, wouldn't surprise me. All kinds of funky folks in the world. All right. I'm going to enjoy this in my office. Thanks. Wow. Oh, I mean, you could stay here anytime. Jill's cool about it, but I kind of, I don't know. I want to talk to boss. Okay, then. Well, let's get some new music popping off, shall we, Deadbeats? What are we in for tonight? Let's actually start from the end of the music list with renewed hope which is hope has descended and you are not alone an alternate reality underground club i like that snowfall oh we've heard snowfall before let's listen to base of the titans base of the titans <sighs> time to serve lives and change mixes and mix changes. Wait, that's not how it goes. <laughs> uh, no one here to retort. Man, it feels lonely without Gil here. I just hope the restlessness in the streets doesn't lead to dangerous or weird types coming in here. <laughs> Good evening. Holy shit, that was a record-breaking jinx. Welcome to Valhalla, what can I get you? I'll have a blue fairy. Don't make a joke about becoming real. Don't make a joke about becoming real. On it. Ah, I get it. Ah, Pinocchio. Jill, you're so fucking funny. You're fucking funny, Jill. Brain in a jar. Blue fairy. <laughs> Brain? Okay. Sounds like Bay. Nah, Bay sounds like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys! Oh my god! I want to know why you're a brain. It's actually pretty good. I'm not as good as Iris, though. I'll never be as good as Iris. <laughs> One of these will make all your teeth turn blue. Hope you brushed them well. All aged and mixed. Here you go. Here you go! Nice! Yeah! This is the thing! So, um, how are you gonna- Oh! Oh, this is me. You can grab stuff. Should have figured as much. You can drink stuff? And eat. I have the same system Lilum do. Can I ask you something? Um, um, uh, miss- Call me Sailor. Just Sailor. And yes, a cutie like you can ask me anything. Wow, I- Ooh. <laughs> Okay, Taylor. You have to be the first person I've met that didn't go, Okay, just Taylor. Nah. Too easy. You are a brain in a jar, right? I'm sure not. I'm sure not a hologram. That I'm sure. Yep, I'm a bona fide human brain in a jar. So, how? Why? What? Does my handsomeness make you speechless? You're not something a girl sees every day, and that's saying quite a bit in these parts. Fear not, for I have speech prepared for these situations. A uh, speech? You're seeing one of the five great living bottled brains of the world. We are brains living in conditions that allow us to exist as any other humanoid creature. All while computers in our jars scan our activities. In a slow but steady manner, we are helping the world understand the inner workings of nature's most complex computer. I'm guessing you prepared that after being asked the same question too many times, huh? Not out of exasperation or anything like that, mind you. I just wanted to have something thoughtful prepared. Look, I even have a couple of pamphlets with me. You want one? Sure. What brings one of our world's five brains in jars to this place, though? Oh, I'm from around here, actually. I just wanted to take a walk for the first time in well, quite a bit of time. Have you come here before? Sadly, no. 
Otherwise, I'd remember a cute face like yours. Speaking of which, can I have your name? Um, it's Jill. Jill? That's a really cute name. Thank you. Say, weren't you scared of going outside today? What with the commotion and all? It didn't stop you from coming here either, did it? Yeah, you're right. It's gonna take more than cryptic but ominous news to stop me. You're awfully energetic, did you know that? Sorry, does that bother you? No, not at all. Just that I figured a brain in a jar wouldn't be so happy. While I was alive, my body got to a point where there wasn't much I could do. This new state of existence allows me to accomplish more than I ever could before. Plus, I'm doing something that'll help people in the long run. Wouldn't you be happy? I wonder. Do you want to make me happy, Jill? Depends on what it takes. Don't worry, just give me a beer. Alright, then yeah, I'll make you happy. <laughs> One beer to make Taylor happy. <coughs> Gotta have your guard up. You know what, Taylor? I'll give you a big one. I'll give you a big beer. Because brains need big beers to function. This I know. For the Bibble tells me so. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. And let's do it mixed. This is for you. Here, a beer. That rhymed. Ha <laughs> ha. Rapper in training. Taylor has the flirt game on lock. Taylor got game. <coughs> Brains need enough beer to pickle in. Yeah, I wonder how does Tyler drink this? Does the brain just put it in the in the jar and then it goes on? <coughs> Sorry, my lungs haven't been great recently. Ah, since I came back from a huge allergy attack that also affected Kiara, unfortunately. Big beers for big brains. Bibble. I wonder what would happen if you replaced your brain fluid with beer. I think we have some scientists in chat. What would happen, scientists in chat? Do you guys know? I need you now. I need you now, scientists in chat. Death. <laughs> uh, you die. Death. Me! <laughs> Wonderful! You die. <laughs> I think that would be fatal. <laughs> Super dead. <laughs> it's like, no, don't say stuff like that. A visit from you, worth it. Alcohol, toxicity, one-way trip to Cali. I get the gist. Ah, uh, yes, no matter what happens, beer's always good. It's interesting, though. Just yesterday, I was talking to a client about brain uploads. You were? Yeah, we were talking about how even if you upload your brain, you'd still be here. I've thought about that, too. Do you think the you in the cybernetic environment would feel like she was indeed transferred? Like, would she remember everything? Like waking up some pl someplace else and so on? Hmm, that's an interesting question. I was actually thinking earlier about being able to transfer someone's brain into a lilum. One of the brains is being used such an experiment, actually. They can make a functional lilum. Unfortunately, the wiring and other such stuff makes it look more creepy than anything. They aren't transferring his identity or anything, though. Just wiring him to a body. Oh. You'd think someone would rather do that than float around exposed in a jar. I have to admit, the whole brain thing does look creepy. But the body I'm telling you about is just uncanny looking. Speaking of uncanny, how did you feel when you saw yourself like this for the first time? It was quite a shock, actually. It didn't last too long, though. I never was too attached to my body. Later in my life, that was almost literal. You know what the downside to this body is? I can't get drunk. If you want to call that a downside? If you wanted to drink alcohol for the taste, there are many alternatives. See? This motherfucker gets it. Alright, look. This motherfucker gets it. That's what I'm saying. And people are like, people drink alcohol for the taste, Cali. People, And yes, I get that, I get that. But not everyone does, alright? Not everyone's like you. Alright, look. It's the truth, all right? It's fine to admit it. You can admit it. It's okay to not like the taste of alcohol, but like the feeling it gives you, all right? That's normal, all right? It's, it's fine. There are also people who like the taste and like the feeling, or just like the taste. I get that, all right? People are different. Anyway, this brain is base. 
Uh, next. Drunkness is a part of my whole of the whole experience. Why though? Lilum can get drunk with no problem. Yeah, but in their case, their brain's a computer attached to their body. Getting drunk causes their brains to reduce the input speed to their bodies. Depending on the model, their drunk subroutine might throw in a different behavioral cycle even. It's hard to get drunk when the whole point of you being in a jar is figuring out exactly how you work. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Jill says someone. Oh, it's, it's Alma. Oh, Alma. Just, oh, Alma, where's the courtesy one would expect from plebeian bar staff? Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Happy? Not when you put it that way. Why, hello there, beautiful. Hmm? Whoa! You hurt my feelings with that, darling. S sorry, you don't see a talking disembodied brain every day. I mean, I did work a summer in Lilum maintenance, but even then, those were talking heads. Oh, don't worry about it. At least you're not running or fainting. Your name was... Alba, right? I'm Sailor. N nice to meet you, Taylor. Say, Alma, can I buy you a drink? Can I buy you a drink? Oh, wee-woo. I'ma take you home with me. I got money in the bank. Shawty, what you think like that? Driving in the gray Cadillac, we in the bed like, oh, 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 we in the bed like, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, buy you a drink, oh, we, woo. I'm gonna take you home with me. I'm sorry, I can't help myself. <laughs> sorry, I only date people who are at least 50% organic and have at least one face. Hmm, I know just what to strive for then. Just kidding. It'd make me happy to make you happy by buying you a drink. Does that bother you? I guess if Jill's the bartender, I don't have a problem with that. Oh, she got a crush on me. Awesome, I'll pay for your next drink then. What do you have? I have a cobalt velvet. And you, Taylor? I'm fine, actually. You're gonna have me drink alone? I don't want to drink that much. Oh. Okay, then, let's make a cobalt velvet straight from Taylor to Alma. The cobalt velvet. Ooh, that's a big boy. I'm gonna make, uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna make it a big one. We need a full karaoke with funny voices. I'd be down. We need to beat the game first, though. And then I'll be like, this is Jamie singing this song. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All on the rocks and mixed. Here you go. Oh, that's a cute looking drink. Cobalt Velvet. I love pixel art so much, you guys. Your drink. Hope you enjoy it. You know, you've been nicer to me these past minutes than at least three guys have been in the last year. Judging from the way you two talk, I'm guessing you've been a client here for a while now, right? Only for about half a year or so, if memory serves right. Really? One would think it had been longer. Uh, feels like it's been longer. Shut up, you love me and you know it. So, you just started coming here and that was it? Well, the first time I came here, the other guy... Speaking of which, where's Pablo? Gillian. Archimedes. Dunno, adventuring or something. Anyways, the other guy served me the first time I came here. Nothing unusual there. The next time I showed up, Jill here was the one serving and... I don't know. I feel like she just gets me. There's this... Chemistry. We... Click. We click, she says. The fact that I feel more chemistry with her than with many other people is kind of sad, though. It's always good to see a nice friendship. Sadly, it's getting late and I've gotta go. I'll leave you two lovely ladies alone. Yeah. What a chill brain. Bye. Please come again. That tailor sure is nice. A bit weird at first, though. Apparently one of the five brains being studied by scientists or something. There's a summary of it in this pamphlet. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I've heard of him before. Can't believe I actually met one. Hey, Alma, is your family really strict or something? Not particularly, no. Why? The other day, you started mumbling something about numbers not caring about what you do. 
but at 27, not caring if you have a Catholic wedding or not. Oh God, it's not the number thing. Yeah, my family isn't strict per se, but my mom can be mm, really abrasive. To her, the fact that I'm this old and not married or pregnant is a sign that I'm never going to have kids. Never mind the fact that she already has three grandkids. We love her, but she can be, well... Ugh. Oh yeah, I kind of get it. You also said the words, I was a blossoming woman and I wasn't going to stand for it. After talking about some eighth grade teacher? <sighs> yeah, that. You see, back when my body started developing, I got really shy. But at some point, something snapped within me. I wasn't feeling shy anymore. I felt powerful. My body felt like a new toy to me, one that I was going to make sure to use. Of course, there were two problems with that idea. I was a teen, a horny teen, and I was surrounded by honey teens. Eh, I'm not even ashamed. I still stand by the core morale, I, the core moral I held back then. But it's one of those memories that you look back to and become terrified of how reckless you were. I mean, I could have gotten pregnant, or worse. At that age, I was always dressed in black and was obsessed with occultism. <laughs> I totally see that for Jill. That makes so much sense for her. <laughs> Incredible. I was similar, except I wasn't dressed in all black. I remember an orange hoodie that I always pulled over my head, and I was always drawing anime in my sketchbook. <laughs> orange hoodie and the yoga pants. <laughs> yoga pants were like a, a shitty attempt to try and fit in with the other people around me, but eventually I switched to sweatpants. <laughs> kind of cute, though. Thanks. And really long straight hair. Why is Jill so based? Cute goth girlfriend. Yoga pants were a thing back then? Oh, they were. They were a thing where I lived. It was t-shirts and yoga pants for the girls and Uggs. Either Uggs or sandals. And you always just wore t-shirts that were either related to the school or had a pocket in the, like the, like a breast pocket and yoga pants even during the hot times, or leggings. Um, oh god, Uggs. Yeah, and the guys wore basketball shorts and t-shirts with sneakers. Or extra short, short pink shorts with belts and polo shirts. That was just how they dressed. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I used to live at the very edge of a rich kid neighborhood. My parents moved there so that I could go to the rich kid's school without being in one of the rich kid houses. So we moved to the last, <laughs> the last street you could live on before it was out of bounds to go to the rich kid's school. <laughs> yep, I drove a 2003 Honda CRV, and you know what? I liked it plenty, but little little sister Reaper wanted an Audi, <laughs> and I was like, you know that's never gonna happen, right? You're gonna get my car, but everyone else has Audis. Gotta do what you gotta do. I loved that CRV. Are you kidding me? I named it Snoop because I was super weird back then. <laughs> Honda CRV is classy, right? Had a nice, nice interior too, made of fur. <laughs> yeah, Imoto. Yeah, she wanted an Audi because her friends got Audis. Like, no shit, Sherlock. We go to a rich kid's school. <laughs> yep. Underworld's also got its own rich kid neighborhoods as well. <laughs> That's a great name for the car. Back then, back in the day. CRV over Adi. <laughs> hey, look, it got me from A to B, and I have a lot of good memories in that car, so. Anyway, sorry you're playing a game. I just, I really like Jill. <laughs> I wasn't a goth kid back then, but I was... I was not like Alma, at least. I would say I was the polar opposite of her. I was shy too, but instead of going the opposite of shy, I fully embraced it and hid away in my hoodie. <laughs> Tangents are good. Callie's definitely goth. Well, now, I mean, 
I wouldn't say now I'm goth. I feel like the goth stage was more in the college era, but you know. You weren't okay. That was back when I dyed my hair red and went to an MCR concert. <laughs> That's okay. I was B list popular. <laughs> I mean, that works. Back of the class kids, right? True enough. Lol. Anyway, continuing onward. Well, you know how the old ad adage goes don't compare your life to others. You don't know what they've been through. Oof, it's so true though, actually. Allie with red hair, cute. Yeah, it lightened up and went back to my natural color, which is pink. <laughs> no, I wasn't comparing, just wondering if some of that self-esteem thing would have helped me back then. Speaking of family, today I came because I needed a break from everything that's been going on with them. Do you live with them? No, but Vita and Bernie do. Not to mention I visit them almost, almost every day. Anyway, my second eldest sister, Diana, just separated from her husband. It's not even been a week, but she's already got some other guy in her bed. She left her kid with her husband's parents and pretty much forgot about them. Never mind the fact that they need to go to school and all that. Damn. Diana's life has always been messy, but these days she's really making it big. She wants time for herself to live her life. She didn't think about that when she married the guy at 20. She didn't think about that when marrying a guy she'd only known for like three months. You should take your own advice. Hey, I'd never marry someone who could catch my attention so quickly, okay? Oh wow, she stuck up her hand. Does she have like a metal hand right there? Who woot? Nani? Sure, there was that one time when it almost happened, but I blame the damn stadium kiss cam. Kiss cam. I was going out with my guy my little sister introduced me to. Seems he was her friend's brother or something. We went out a couple of times and he invited me to a basketball game. The mood was nice, but then later the kiss cam focused on us and instead of kissing me, he proposed. I almost got caught in the mood and accepted. Huh. So I take it you rejected him in a stadium on the fucking kiss cam. Oh, hand implants, I see. Uh, robot hands. He went out for like three weeks. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to get in my pants with the old ooh, do the thing on the wedding night line. But I honest to God can't understand why he thought it would be a good idea. This sounds too convoluted, you know, proposing and waiting for the wedding night just to do the deed. Never underestimate the lengths a man is willing to go to get you into their bed. I've seen more convoluted plots over the years. I'm feeling tempted to ask, but I'll pass. Want anything else? Hmm, what's that bottle? Oh yeah, it's just some rum a client gave me yesterday. A gift? What did you do? A good enough service, I'm guessing. Ka ki ke? Huh, interesting name. What does it mean? Ka ki ke. How do you pronounce this? You guys know what this is. You guys know how to pronounce this. The name of a chieftain in some native tribes. I see. Do you want me to serve you some of this? I'll pass. I don't have too many good memories where rum's involved. Oh, my girl is like me. Every time I've thrown up from alcohol in my life. Kakike. Kasike. Soft C. Kasike. A kasike. Kasik. Kasike. All right, Kasik, I see. Gotcha. Thank you, chat. Um, Alma's the same as me. Every single time that I've thrown up after drinking too much alcohol, it's been after rum. I've never thrown up from whiskey, vodka, even fucking Four loco. It's always been rum. Every single time that I've had a bad experience, rum has been involved. And it's always dark rum. Like brownish, blackish rum. Kasike. Kasike. Who the fuck said Kasik? Someone in chat did. Kasike. Tequila's what got me usually. That's interesting. For my mom, it's gin. Mama Mori just can't stomach gin. And I'm like, what? But it's such a nice, like, chill, clear liquor. Okay. Rum's fine, in my opinion. Ah, it works for some people, but just like gin is fine for me and not for Mama Mori. Rum just, I think that's my kryptonite when it comes to alcohol, to be honest. Not a pirate confirmed. No bink sake for me. 
Oh, tequila for you? I feel like tequila is the pretty, like, universal one for a lot of people, but I like tequila. That's quite the superhero weakness. <laughs> like, Kraken is a no-go. Yeah, it's, it's always... Oh my god. Like, three times out of the five, it's been Kraken, and it was mostly back when I was in college. I don't think... Yeah, I don't buy rum as an adult. <laughs> Obviously, because I don't like it. No likey. No likey. Yeah, not my thing. Of course it was the Kraken. <laughs> I hate that shit! We had, like, a studying party when I was in school, and, um, my friend's roommate, I would go and, like, do study parties at their house. And they're like, you want to have some of this Kraken rum while we do a study party? And I was like, sure! And, you know, we put it in this tall glass, but didn't realize how tall the glass was. And we got in this really long conversation about, like, Downton Abbey or something like that, which is what my my roommate's friend really liked. And, like, we talked about it for a long time, even though I'd never seen the show. But when people get excited about something, I like to nod a lot and be like, yeah, and listen to them talk about it. So, like, they talked to me a lot about Downton Abbey. And I just kept drinking and drinking. And then I stood up and I was like, fuck my life. And it was bad. The documentary. <laughs> the British. Kraken's good with cranberry juice? Yeah, if only I had cranberry juice instead of literally just ice and Kraken. <laughs> Not my finest moment. <laughs> Not my finest. You're not a fan of whiskey, sleepyhead? That's alright, it's not for everyone. Like, you put your brain on idle. I do try to listen, though. So I keep it somewhere stored in my memory, but... At the same time, it's more about, like, I want them to, like, rant to me about the thing they love, you know? It's nice to hear people talk passionately about things that make them happy, I don't know. I like that. Especially when I'm drunk on Kraken. <laughs> but I haven't drank that stuff in, what, five years? Goodness. Anyway. Don't have many good memories where rum is involved. That's where Alma and I are the same. Get me a fringe weaver instead, will ya? Alright. I wonder what's up with her and rum, but anyways, let's give her a fringe weaver. Nothing to wor nothing to like wonder about, Jill. Some people just aren't into <laughs> aren't into Oh my lord. Let's get her super drunk. Um <clears throat> Well Jill, you should know this. Rum's not for everyone. I think it was the sugar content. You know, because rum, especially that kind of rum, has like pretty high sugar content, I would say. One fringe weaver for the madame. Super duper drunk. Rum and coke, or rye and coke usually. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a sweeter taste. So like, depending on the rum you get, of course. So like it works better with um, some sweeter like combinations, I suppose. I wonder what I'm gonna make the girls when I go see them. I'm making them drinks. Yara doesn't drink, and I think um, some of the others aren't super into it, but I'm gonna make a mocktail for Kiara. So I'm like looking up recipes, and I gotta, I gotta go to the store so I can get all the right ingredients, but I'm gonna make them all a drink based on them. I think there was somebody who posted myth recipes um, on Reddit one time, I need to go find them again so I can make them those drinks. And with Kiara, just make her a mocktail because she doesn't like to drink, but... Yeah. <laughs> that was Kiara's idea. She was like, make us make us cocktails and mocktails. I was like, yes! You guys know I'm feeding them breakfast? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not me, though. Secret for the deadbeats, I'm not making the breakfast. I hired someone to come and cook breakfast for them, except it's night breakfast. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. So, yeah. You guys may not know this, but I'm the host. <laughs> I'm the host of the party. <laughs> yeah. But where I'll be is a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> Time to see their reaction. Shh. It's only for the deadbeats. Only for the deadbeats who are here. Shh. Just need to just need a big enough catapult to get us. <laughs> I'm the boss at a bar. Our secret. Just for the deadbeats. Don't tell, don't tell. Are they going to Japan? No. That's the only thing I will say is they're not going to Japan. 
<laughs> no one's coming to Japan. But it is, it's a secret other than that. I've picked a, a special underworldian location that no one will ever find to keep them nice and safe. While I hire a demon chef to come and cook breakfast for them. <laughs> but yeah. Japan one day soon, I believe. I hope so. Things are looking brighter, so that's the good news, but it will see. I've been talking a lot. We're playing a game. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to address the whole myth thing later at the end of the stream, but for now, I'll keep playing the game. What kind of memories do you have with rum? Nothing you need to worry about. Understandable. Okay. Did you too have a situation talking about Downton Abbey with your roommate's friend? Can you make Kiara a Roy Rogers? I need to look up what that is. <laughs> All right, now it's my turn to ask questions. About what? What kind of family is your family? Well, I'm an only child. My mom and dad are split amicably. My mom is a violinist. She was always away from home with the orchestra. I spent most of my time with my dad, my aunt, and my grandpa. Aside from that, I'd say my childhood was quite uneventful. Huh. Didn't you get something like your mom's artistic vein or something? I played the violin until I was around 16, I think. What made you stop? I don't know. I just kind of said, that's it, one day and stopped. What about cousins or the rest of your family? I see very little of them, actually. Mainly because my dad moved away for most of them. Most of my family... I want something more chill. Mainly because my dad moved away for most of them. Most of my mom's family live in France to boot. So your mom's French? Yup. Can you speak French? Mon air glissure est plein de anguilles. Oh, what does that mean? Rubbish? I don't know. I can't speak French. I did try though, but college started and I couldn't stop taking classes. Funny thing, I actually have a cousin from my mom's side that lives close by. <laughs> Omelettes du <de> fromage. <laughs> Enchante. Oui, oui. <laughs> but you'll be hard pressed to make me spot him in a crowd. You're kind of lucky, you know. All of my mom's side of the family lives here. The chances of me meeting someone I'm related to on the street are ridiculously high. But yeah, that's the primer on my family. Nothing too interesting, sadly. Your mom's a French violinist, and you call that uninteresting? I'm wondering if your family has ever made a fuss about you being a hacker. A hacker makes it sound too exotic. It's like if I called you a mixologist. Please, don't ever. Sounds like something somebody would say to make a bartender sound sophisticated. See? I mean, hacker's a good way to summarize it, but it's not the best. I'm a security consultant. People want to find flaws in the security of their systems, and I do my best to pinpoint where it breaks. Be it Glitch City or anywhere else in the world, they need security. I'm their woman. You've told quite a few stories about cracking into databases to retrieve info, like some sort of mercenary, though. That doesn't change the fact that hacker is not the best term to use. Makes the whole thing sound illegal when it's actually an honest job. Didn't you tell me once you secured some incriminating pics from a guy's cell phone? A mostly honest job, sheesh. What made you come a what, ba 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 ba? What made you become a hacker, by the way? I've always been a sucker for puzzles. Even as a kid, I always had Sudoku or crosswords with me. But at some point, they started feeling kind of samey. So when I started college, I took a course on system security. It felt like the kind of puzzle I was looking for. Yeah, she's a hacker. Ooh, Matrix. I mean, there's all kinds of things involved in breaching net security. You need to attack the stuff from different angles. And it's something that's always evolving. The whole point of everything is to strengthen security. Every time you think you've got the gist of it, they change everything. So, it's kind of like an always evolving puzzle. A puzzle I help make harder at that. Oh, didn't think about it that way. It is less action-y than what movies make it up to be, though. No real-time frantic typing, nothing like that. Still, seeing my code break through something, it's an amazing feeling. Will you have anything else? Mm, I'll have 
a classy drink. Any classy drink. Here goes nothing. Hacker man. Why'd you gotta say it like that? Sorry. I'm in a mood. It's past midnight. This is gonna happen. What can I get her the drunkest with? Let's see. Whatever gives me optional karma train. Fringe weaver. This is how you fucking destroy people, actually. If you want to kill everyone in the bar, you can just give them this dranky. With a spoonful of sugar, makes the spiritists go down, makes the spiritists go down, makes the spiritists go down. Just a spoonful of sugar makes the spiritists go down in the most delightful way. Go fuck yourself. Here you are. Yeah, just what I needed. Thanks. Say, Jill, what's the worst that could happen if you don't get your drinks right? Well, people have the right to not give me money. <laughs> Shut up! Don't say that. You're actually chased with sugar before? No, mostly lime. Lime's pretty reliable, I would say, but best drink spiritus plus water. <laughs> be prepared to be destroyed. Oh yeah, I'll kill ya. I mean, if I'm off hiatus, you're definitely fucked. Don't come to the flip side. You don't want to be there. Ah! Hey, Alma. Want a bar snack? Oh, sure, yeah. Hit me. If they don't pay for it, I don't get my bonus. No, bonus means less money and the tips, which doesn't help because I gotta pay bills. Oh, I see. Do you still have to make an effort to pay your bills? Nope. You have no idea how much I hate you right now. Well, my job pays pretty well and I'm not the kind to spend too much on things other than food and bills. Maybe maintenance on my hands and new equipment, but aside from that... Oh, I know. If you have trouble with your bills, why not live with me? We could be roommates. Dunno. Moving my stuff through the stairs because the elevator's broken. Having to move my liquor collection. Never mind the fact that my cat's a shut-in that got very upset the one time I tried to move some furniture around. The idea of moving just gives me a headache. She's playing. Yeah, Alma likes Jill. It's cute. Alma has money for simping. <laughs> Throwing Akaspa's Jill's way. Roommates. I'd room with Alma. She a cutie. I wouldn't like to deal with her many boyfriends, though. That would be kind of a pain in the asshole to, like, watch unfold. I think. All of the roommates I've had in the past are, like, shut-ins. So, I've lived a very peaceful roommate life. I'm making cute cocktails for the Myth Girls. I'm the best follow-up to the Big Fringe Weaver is another Big Fringe Weaver. I'm so I won't hurt them, okay? I love them. I don't love Alma, but I love them. I'll be gentle on them, I promise. <laughs> Alma making my heart beat. Yeah, I feel like she's a lot of you deadbeats' type right now. Smart hacker girl. Very cute. Megane, cute hair, cute body. She a cutie, I don't know. But I think Jill's type is like the boss. You know, so Alma's gotta, she's gotta give up at some point. She gotta give up. <sighs> you shouldn't take things so seriously when I say them, you know? I don't, but I've thought about it before. Now I need some air. I wanna take my break. Wanna come? Are you inviting me to the back of the bar? You should invite me to dinner first. Every minute you waste making jokes is time taken from my break. Fine, let's go. Boss! Hey, boss. I'm taking my break. Call me if anyone comes in. Oh shit, it's Dana. Hold on. Sure, sure. Yay! Smoke break at the back with cute girl. Um. You girl, um, cute, very cute. I like her. I'd want to have her as a RL friend. It's now safe to keep playing. Twenty sixty nine Sukeban games. 
good indeed. Hey, boss. You look like my next angry intern. She's a basket case who's too smart for her own good. Cold, 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 cold. Round two. Sure is chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectable. Apparently, he got into some legal trouble, and that's why he's like that. <clears throat> really? He could also just be a very nice crackhead, though. I have a cousin that lives like a hobo, actually. Really? It's a bit complicated, though. Problem is, his family has tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let him accept their help. He'd rather live on the streets for some reason. You can't tell with some people, sadly. Why did he become a hobo in the first place? Bad investments and debt. Bank evicted him from his house. Oh. It's a serious problem because he has epileptic attacks but refuses to take his medication. I just don't get what's up with him. Oh boy, our favorite ladies here. Honey, some service here. I'm here. Don't scream. Oh, were you two hanging at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? <laughs> what do you want? Something soft. Something sweet. No alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from the vending machine? But I like you! You would dislike my presence so much. Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say. All right. Dorothy wants something sweet and alcohol-free. All right. Whatever you want. Sugar rush. I don't need to put Karma Strain in it, but let's see if there's anything else I can do. Sparkle Star. Also optional. one. No, that one requires Karma Strain. All these other ones require Karma Train, I think. Moon Blast. I'm still trying to learn the drinks as well. With optional Karma Train. Something extra sweet for the for the madame. Sparkle Star. I haven't made one of those, actually. Used to actually sparkle, but too many complaints about skin problems made them redesign the drink without the sparkling. I want sweet and soft, though. Sweet, girly, happy... Here we go. This is the one. Asian mix. Here you go. Here. Like you asked. See? You don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Unless you're Lauren's. No one actually learns the recipes. <laughs> Except the fringe waiver. <laughs> that one's too much fun. <laughs> Blue fairy brings a little more money. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of cola. Lauren's? A friend of mine. He's a vending machine. Oh. Oh, but how impolite of me. Mm. I'm lovely and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes, nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Uh, yeah, why? Nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me. Mostly about your, um... Pluckiness. And here I was, thinking it was because I'm a do-in-the-do worker. A steak worker, if you will. Hey, I take pride in my job. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> Isn't that dangerous? I know how to take care of myself. Thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some account and says that's hacking, right? No, of course not. I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. You just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? No. I can explain, but... I don't know if y'all get it. We want Nansai to try, right? <laughs> Last time I said that I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up a grown man's ass. <laughs> it was a success! <clears throat> okay then, um, let me try to explain in general. 
how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. All right. First, I do some research on the target. OS servers, how the information is stored and all that. There's been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh-huh. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try known exploits, as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. Uh, uh, you see? Then when I'm fully in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user to get what I need. How do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is using a... Wait for it. Buffer overflow. I had the megaphone on. Buffer overflow. What happens next? What happens next? I create a backdoor in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. I I can't! I can't! I'm not out of um, Hack me! Hack me like you've never hacked anything before! Uh, uh. Make my buffer overflow! Create a backdoor in me! Escalate your user privileges! Find flaws in my security! Sorry. <laughs> I got carried away. No shit! What happened? Ah, that was fun. Oh, holy moly guacamole. Incredible work. Thanks. I do strive to please. <laughs> I knew what was happening. I'm no dummy. Best VA 2022. Thanks, did my best. No shit, what happened? Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook? But they make it sound like they're having steak instead. Suggestive scenes. Yeah. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. <laughs> really? I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me. If you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny Lilum or an unexploited market. I see. Oh, it looks like my ride is here. Bye. Your ride? Yep, my brother-in-law came to look for me. Thank you, Mori. You're welcome. <laughs> Happy to please. <laughs> Is it all right to ask that from him? It's okay. I've known him since preschool. It just so happened that he got married to my sister. Hey, Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by 3rd Street? Sure, it's on the way. Yay, I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. Later, Jill. Take care. The street seems... Noisy. Third Street. Oh boy. Alma voice black, please. Yeah, I tried to give her the huskier sounding hacker girl voice. Oh, client. Hello. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? Oh boy. It's time, guys. It's time. Let's see. Three down. All right. Such a small yet comfortable place. 
truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of the suburban desert. A place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget the troubles for a while. A nest where everyone from the most prophetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can sit to kill the insides. Truly, a real persona non grata. That's Latin for mysterious place, by the way. I'm so smart and philosophical. Alright, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. What will you have then? 17. I excuse me? I said 17. 7 plus 10. What does that mean? What does it mean to you? Just to be sure, 17 is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. 17? The hell does that mean? Alright, hold on. One, or hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on, 17th page. Piano man? Six, seven. Okay. 17 ingredients? Wrong conclusion? Look! It made sense! Alright, let's do math. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 3. Don't forget to put bread. It's fine, it works too. Try giving him a fedora. <laughs> now this is bartending. If this works too, then I'll do this because this is the easiest for me instead of doing math. You guys know I'm not real smart when it comes to math. No, don't age it. Ah, you son of a bitch. Math time. No, we hate math here. I'm gonna give Gura a math quiz when I meet up with her. That's the, that's the kind of collab stream we should do. I think Gura and I are gonna be spending more time together than anyone else. So I'm gonna give her a math quiz when I meet with her. We gotta figure out who's the who's the math genius. Here's a piano man. How is this a 17? It isn't. You said 17 would only be related to your drink if it, and I thought it wasn't. I think it isn't. Oh, you subverted my expectations by taking me literally sneaky. What brings you here, mister? I'm Armandio. Virgilio Armandio. Yeah, figure out who's the dumbest between me and Gura. That's what we should do. The girls should put on a <laughs> a game show like, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? And it's me and Gura to figure out who's the dumbest. That's such a good idea. I'm going to send it to them later. No promises. See, I introduced myself using the Asian order because it's a lot more polite. Right. More like you're just a fucking weeaboo, idiot. I can see the wall scrolls all over your wall and the five dakimakuras on your bed. One is fine. One is normal. That's okay. But more than three, we have to have a chat. And I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I was passing by and saw this place is called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits and noble souls, the golden awful and never-ending banquets, the lively Valkyries looking over them. We have some arcade machines on the corner. No, 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 you're taking me too literally. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mystical air to a mundane affair. I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses and food. I wanted to see the bar in all its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. <laughs> it's me. That's all right. Jill's mocking him. Well, you're out of luck. Today's been quite the slow day. Not that I'm very surprised, given how things have been in the streets, though. Humans are a nasty bunch. That much is true. Making a ruckus, coming at each other. But that's to be expected from the only mammal to kill its own. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Oh, yeah? Then give me an example. Not zoologist, bartender. Look, like I said, 
I don't know exact details. I just know that this isn't right. That isn't right. If memory serves right, once a lion takes over a pride, every cub born from another lion is killed or something. Take over a pride? You can't take over a pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. You need to stop making things up, not zoologist bartender. What the fuck? But going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? The atomic number of chlorine? No, Chloe is a name, not a number, you know. The group where halogens are in the periodic table? Stop making up words like halogens and periodic and table. Okay, then I give up. 17 is us. Eh? Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. That number is the whole foundation of you and me. It's 23. What is? Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea. Primal. What an idiot. What a big, dumb, dummy, dumb ding dong. It's 23, says the chat. Hey, guess what, you big fucking dumb idiot? My chat says the same shit. My chat concurs with Jill, you big dumbass. <laughs> what a logic. Um, do you want anything else? I'd like a single plum, floating in perfume, served in a man's height. Okay, he wants a plum, floating perfume, and a son of a bitch. Fedora. Can't believe we actually fucking have this shit. Can we get a bouncer to bounce? <laughs> I wish! Right? Bottle drinks? Here, here, and stop fucking bothering me. Ha! You did. Wait, you did. Enjoy! Jill's such a troll. I freaking love her. I, I will drink this um perfume. You don't really have to. Yeah, that'd be silly. You win this round, bartender. Hey, bartender. Have you ever thought about death? Her name's Calliope Mori, and she was a VTuber back in 2020, from 2020 to 2020 something else that I can't say because I can't remember when she stopped doing the shit, but she was a VTuber. Two buckins a day. Yeah, every day the Debbies think about death because they really like her. They think about her a lot. How? What if we're already dead? Both of us. What? What tells you I even existed before I entered that door? How can you assure me that this reality is real and we're not, in fact, in heaven or hell all along? What if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something in this room getting extra existential because of bed to create of this game? in the 20s i could punch you and make you feel reality i don't care about any of that actually this reality is real for me and that's all that matters such a closed mind a way of seeing things but i've been red pilled did you know that i go on reddit every day that's right every day of my life i browse reddit do you know reddit is still around these days i'll go there to get myself a big brain snap back to reality that's right my brain's been expanded. Everybody on Reddit knows everything. They know everything. That's right. And if you try to fight with them, they downvote you. They downvote any opinion that you give them. That's right. No matter what it is, if it doesn't concur with the group think. Mm -hmm. That's right. They downvote you. That's right. Gotta get with the time. It's the way to go. Get red pill, you stupid bitch. You stupid bitch. <laughs> Can confirm I am a know-it-all. Callie's projecting again. I don't know what you're talking about. You need to get away from factual facts. Open your mind to things out of your reach. You never reach enlightenment if you don't start the habanero start ed. It means the Twilight of the Gods in German, by the way, as Takanashi Kiara. She's also a famous VTuber. Well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new Underworld Auto, which is the name of Calliope Mori's concert. Happened in 2022 of July. 
<laughs> That's not German. <gasps> Open your third eye! Open your third eye! The government's corrupt! That was an experience. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Um, what? <laughs> um, what? A couple of nearby cars exploded, it would seem. Oh, hell. Let me take a look out the window. Can't believe you won the lottery to get one of the live show tickets. Yeah, he's super lucky. I think he was five. <laughs> Be careful. Yup. I see lots of flashes in the distance. Most likely gunshots. Jill, come here a sec. What? Uh-oh. About five gigabytes of reports proving that several white knight squads have been used to cover illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. We are receiving reports of several units going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the streets. Several counter terrorism forces from neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue the crazed units after a plea from the vice president. We're still waiting for a declaration from Zybot's core CEO on the subject, but until then... Ah, things are ugly in the outside of that bank, it seems. Ah, oh, shit. Things are ugly on the outside of that bank, it seems. I'd recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, the bar has quite the security system. And I'll be here to protect you. That's not a bonus. Ah. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll stay the night. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? Nah, I guess... Fine. Good. Uh, let's hope everything gets solved by the morning. I'll have Zankanto on hand just in case. The metal bat with nails? There's nothing it can't bash. <laughs> hey, Gil. Four. I hope everyone's better by tomorrow. Aww. Boss. Oh, boss. Don't panic. Don't panic. Who's sleepover with the boss? Girls night. Girls night. Woo! Uh, she likes her. This is making me excited about my girls' night in the future. Mm. Uh. Uh, I'm so excited. Also, Ina just gave me a lot of a lot of advice with the the whole like membership gifting thing. She just sent to me. I think she and the girls are kind of busy right now, but she wanted to. She recommended me to kind of urge you guys to see the whole sub gifting thing as a mostly a positive thing, and I think that she's right. Um, there have been a bunch of different ways people are dealing with it, but I can just ask you guys to like stop. But you know, also has realized that like. I can't turn it off now, so she said that the best thing that I can do right now while YouTube is not allowing me to turn it off is to try and see it as a positive thing for you guys and just know that no matter what, we're going to figure it out. So just don't worry, you guys. <laughs> Sounds like cope. Well, we're still doing our best, right? It's better than being all like doom or negative about it. You know, let's just accept what it is. We just have to live with it. Yeah. Best to just not make a big deal out of it and like see it as like a regular thing. So I guess everyone's having this kind of problem right now. Anyway, back to the game. Valhalla. Oh yeah, I guess this is treated like a break since I have to stay here, huh? Alright, safe to keep playing. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Rise and shine! Ah, oh, good morning. It's 11 a.m. though. That's morning for me on the weekends and any other day. Uh, how's everything outside? Still noisy, but forces have been deployed to take care of most of them, at least. How so? Zybot Secor's president is pleading with, quote unquote, anyone to stop the rogue white knights. Neighboring city forces were deployed quickly and have subdued most of the opposition. Oh, reverb's on. Oh, fuck. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. There have been reports of white knights just freezing, like they were petrified somehow. Make it sound like some god suddenly decided to put everything in place. 
Well, I'm just glad no bullets are flying in and out of the whole building. Maybe the boss's voice ought to have a little reverb anyway. <laughs> this is the boss. That's fine. Sure, there are still some bad apples out and it's not really safe yet, but it was worse last night. There also seems to be a civilian force lynching any white knight they spot. So not only are the white knights a problem, regular folks are on edge too. I wonder if Say is okay. Should we be worried about Gil? That kid knows how to take care of himself. I'm sure that whatever it is that he's doing, he's safe. Dare I say even safer when wherever he is than here. I sure hope so. Are we gonna work today? Nah, things are too nasty right now. Let's take the Sunday off. Oh, all right. Say, do you want me to help you get your apartment? Actually, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Okay then, let me lock things up and we'll go. We'll grab something for lunch on the way. Sounds good. Oh, yay! Hey, this looks kind of like Metal Gear. I like it. And here we are. Home sweet home, thanks a lot. Hey boss, wanna hang out for a bit? Hmm? Yeah, grab a beer, chill out for a bit. <laughs> Mostly to thank you for helping me. Well, I don't have much to do anyway, so yeah, sure. I did tell you you should invite me to your apartment sometime, didn't I? Oh yeah, you did. What worries me a bit is that beer always leads to something else. To more beer? I was gonna say to one of us going through the Spanish announcer's table, but I think we're safe here. Come on in then. Excuse me. Ojamashimasu! One one. Sorry, I don't smoke. Don't mind me though, smoke if you wanna. Thanks. Say, how's the chilly weather treating ya? It gets cold from time to time, but nothing the Kotatsu and heater can't fix. Alright, boss, you're not very good with the cold, are ya? You know it. You didn't bring your jacket here either. Yeah, I left it at home when I was going to the bar yesterday. It wasn't that cold and I didn't expect to spend that night at the bar. Would you like a sweater or something? Nah, don't mind me. I insist. I have this hoodie from some time ago and it was too big for me. Why buy it then? It was dirt cheap! Right. Wait, where did you get this one? Dunno, some flea market ages ago? Why? Wait! Wait a minute, does, does Dana see, like, the poster on the wall that says best boss that is literally of her? <laughs> Dana's an ex-wrestler, indeed. Go, Jill, go! Get your boss's heart. Nothing, it's just like one I had many years ago. What happened to it? Too much use, it just ripped. <laughs> she will, I hope so. I see. You can keep it if you want, I never used it anyway. Um, we'll see. Come to think of it, how old are you, boss? I'm eternally 17. Much like the popular VTubers, uh, Hoshimachi Seisei and uh, Marin, Hosho Marin, also eternally 17. And just like them. <laughs> Sencho. Sencho and Seisei. <laughs> So he stays also forever 17. I don't know if you guys read that. I read that in her her bio. So he stays also eternally 17. I forget where I read that, but I did read that. Subaru 17 aging time, 10 times slower. Oh, so he stays forever 18, right? Gotcha, gotcha. So so Sancho is eternally 17 and Suisei is eternally 18. I think. I don't know. 17 season two. Fair enough. 17 plus how much? 17 plus I had to cut your tongue if you knew. Alright, that's a very Sasuga boss thing to say. Let me go change to something more comfortable. Take your time. Say chill, there's a blue-eyed mass of black fur glaring in my general direction. Hmm? Oh, that's just four. He's just wary of any new visitors. Cats will be cats, I guess. He'll warm up quickly, though. Just give him time. He's unusual looking. Blue eyes and a black cat, they usually have grain. Yeah, weird, huh? At first I thought they were like that because he was small, but they never changed. Do you have any pets, boss? Both. Back at home, we had a bear. Oh, uh, I see. What? Good old Bosco. He kept intruders away better than any dog. R right. Hmm? Hmm? This picture isn't something you see every day. Oh, that's cute. What? Me taking a sappy pic? 
Da, frame picture on printed paper. It's so vintage. Who are these? That's um the one on the right is Lenore, my ex-girlfriend. The one on the left is Gabriel, her sister. Huh. Is this pick recent or actually that's one from three to four years ago? You look exactly the same. I'm only 27. What did you expect? That's why they say kids are the ones that get old. I thought it was recent because you don't usually see people displaying pictures of their exes so openly, let alone a printed frame one. Did you two break up on good terms then? You even hesitated a bit when calling her your ex. <sighs> Let's just say that everything ended with both of us saying mean things and me storming out of her house, breaking a couple of things on the way out. Uh, we never broke up formally and I guess I still have feelings for her. I just went away. Haven't said a word since. Really? Well, it's hard to picture you doing such a thing. And you look so happy in the pic. Why have her pick out like this then? I just couldn't get my mind off something that Alma said to me. About missing having the warmth of someone else pressed against your side. Using them as a pillow. Mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head on their chest, listening to their breathing as they pet your head, dozing off knowing you're there, watching you, texting you. I don't know, it it felt nostalgic and miserable. I'll just put this away. I've been meaning to apologize, but I feel like it's too late now. Whenever I go out, there's this fear in the back of my head. I'll meet her in the street. Yeah, I feel so bad for Jill. I want to give her a big hug and say, it's okay. Life goes on. <laughs> you meet more people as you go along. I wish I could give her a big hug. All of the friends I've met in my life that weren't in my life like five years ago that like now I can't imagine living without. You meet so many people in your life, especially after high school. You'd be surprised how many people just walk in and don't leave, you know? I wish I could give her a hug. Jill! I know she didn't go through this in high school, but still, life is like that. People walk out the door, new people walk in, you know? You've got your boss here with you, right? Your boss cares about you, you care about your boss. It's a big world out there, full of people you haven't met yet. I wish I could give her a big hug, though. It doesn't make it any easier, you know? It's okay, Jill, it's okay. <laughs> I just don't know if I could face her again, let alone talk to her. I'd be a mess. It's never too late to apologize, Jill. Maybe. Hmm? What's this on the table? Uh, Looks like an envy- It's nothing! Nothing! No, please, give that to me! Lope, all right. I saw nothing, don't worry. A anyway, let's grab some beers. Guide me. Damn, you have lots of beer. Oh, I, I love... Damn, you have lots of beer. I love these new little environments they're showing. Beer so far, zero cans left, 12. Remaining beer, 100%. Stop! You know I'm gonna get her so drunk. Hold on. I need to BRB. I gotta go run and wash my hands because I've been drinking a lot of apple juice. BRB.
Why cucumbers? Why? Is it cause you guys think I'm a cutie? <laughs> Get it? Cutie is cucumber in Japanese, but it also it sounds like cutie. Haha. <laughs> You guys get it? You guys get the joke? What if we just drank the whole time? Drink! Drink! <laughs> Damn, you have lots of beer! Drink! Well, the BTC gives me discounts and a point card I can use every time I buy their alcohol. With that, beer is actually the cheapest drink I can get. Is there any difference between the drinks at the bar and these? Well, the drinks at the bar are more addictive, flavorful, and also stronger than the ones they sell in the stores. All right, got one beer down. And besides, the one in the bar is more of a double IPA. This one's uh, more of a Pilsner. In English, please. Dana, you own a fucking bar. You know what an IPA and a Pilsner are. Jesus. This one's lighter in color and lighter in flavor. Dunno. Doesn't taste like a lighter to me. <sighs> Is this one made with that, um, what was the name of the base liquid you use at the bar again? Neutrogenic diochemical lidogenol or NDL. It was a supplement or something, right? It was an experimental fluid they crafted to replace water when the maiden kiss polluted water supplies. The effects of pollution turned out to be temporary, so NDL never went into mass production. But the BTC still commissioned it for use in bars. And is this one made with it? Let's see. Yep. Here it is, near the end. NDL and... Cornstarch. Eh, cornstarch? Frank! It serves as a stabilizer, if I remember correctly. They need it for packaging drinks. I see. And I just realized something. What? You're a nerd. You're a nerd, Jill. <laughs> Guilty as charged. I still have that bottle of rum somewhere around. You want some of it? Well, you have some, too. <laughs> it's the only way I'll have any. Uh, not really, no. Mm. Then leave it like that. I'm not letting you drink beer alone. That's not how drinking with friends works. Do you consider me a uh, friend, then? Boss? <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Dunno. What with being my boss and all I was... Never too sure. Well, in case you had any doubts, yes, I consider you one of my best friends. Besides, you and Gil are always so diligent and responsible that I'm boss in name only anyways. Oh, that's uh, good to know. On a side note, it surprises me you kept that poster of me in your room. And even more that you hung it in plain sight. When I gave it to you, it was more or less a joke, you know? Does it, uh, make you... uncomfortable? <laughs> if it doesn't make you uncomfortable, why would it make me uncomfortable? It's my own face! I'm still wondering why you did it. Um, aside from... Filling my empty spot on the wall, I don't really know. I thought it was funny, too. I guess it's like if someone gave you, ah, dunno, a dildo-shaped trophy or something and you had it there as a conversation starter. Well, then no one comes here anyway, so it's kind of pointless. What? 
No steamy nights of passion. <laughs> not since uh, a year ago, I think, and I'd rather not talk about what uh, happened then. Someone hurt you? Because if they did, I can dish out the pain. Dana's cute. I like Dana. Dana cute. Dana, date me! No, nothing of the sort. A, a different kind of mess. Uncomfortable mess. And not being able to do the deed for reasons mess. Glad to know you have my back, though. Ah, that's what friends are for. Wait, you're talking about the poster and comparing it to having a dildo-shaped trophy? Did you just call me a dildo face? That's what friends are for! I mean, she. Look, Jill's drank enough. Hey, Jill. Where'd you get that black floor ball? Well, as with any black cat or any house cat in general, he's actually a stray. I found him in the alleys near the building. Not long after I moved here, I think. Ah, I see. It was quite the sight, though. He was cornered by all these dogs, but they were keeping their distance. He was holding his ground, hissing and scratching as much as he could. Yeah, I don't know how Jill's alive right now. Jill passes out if you finish that last drink. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> Oopsies, I'm out of beer. Oh my god, look at how red she is. <laughs> I can't help myself. There was a fried chicken bucket nearby that had some rainwater in it, so I threw the water over the dogs. They ran, and I figured the cat's mom would be nearby, so I left. Then I noticed people looking in my direction as I walked. Turns out the little shit started following me. So you brought it home. At first, I wanted to see if I could find a new home, but having him welcome me whenever I came back was just too much for my heart, so I ended up staying. It was destiny, girl. When he came, he was so cute, though. Not like the fat mess that's sleeping on the table. The cat says, hey, you're not a spring chicken yourself, you know? Oh! Shit, I actually did that in front of someone else. Oh! Anyway. Don't anyway me. Do you normally speak for your cat like that? Oh, I wonder if Gil's all right. You worried about him? You make it sound like I'm in some emotionless robot. You can be hard to read. I wouldn't worry about Gil so much, though. There's three things I know for certain about him. First, he can take care of himself. Second, you can sincerely trust him. And third, he absolutely hates bell pepper. Pimon, if you would. He does? I've seen him re even reject food that has been in contact with it. Man, what a baby. Unless he's allergic or something. He is not. Man, what a baby. How do you meet? How did you meet such a guy? He showed up on the door of the bar. He, what? Well, it was shortly after the whole incident with Robert and the levitation potion. Right, levitation potion. It was a slow day, and he just showed up at the bar. I offered him a drink, but he said he didn't have any money on him. I couldn't leave him alone, so I pretty much gave the drinks for free. And after a couple, he. Broke down crying. <laughs> oh. Ugh. He, huh? I don't know what he did, but he was really, really regretting it. He wanted a second chance or whatever, and I told him he could wash himself, I'd find him a job. And I'll be damned, he looked totally different the next day. Damn. I tried and failed to find out anything about him. So I decided to take him at face value. I judge him for what he did as an employee. And aside from the occasional sudden escapade, he's been as loyal as loyal gets. I return the favor in kind, covering his ass from time to time, sometimes <laughs> literally. What surprises me is that you took him in so easily. I could take care of myself and I always kept an eye on him. And besides, after the whole Robert thing, I couldn't ignore someone that desperate so easily. I see. You've made the bar more lively yourself, you know? How so? Oh, with the regulars you've earned, of course. Like that blonde titty hacker. I can't remember her name. Alma? I was gonna say Armitage. Well, she's hot, I'll give her that much. 
She's also a nice person in general, but damn, she's hot. Are you all right, Jill? Oh, why? It's weird to see you say so openly that someone's hot. Yeah, Jill, Jill is shy, girl. What? Even you can see she has a hot body, boss. You'll find no objections here. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about taking her to a room and... Jill, you sure you aren't <laughs> drunk? I am. I mean, I'm sure I'm not. I mean... <coughs> but those are thoughts I leave to myself. I don't think I can handle her in a relationship. She has weird standards that she's the straight as straight gets. She's still a lovely person, though. That she became a regular is a blessing. And he regular is a blessing when you get down to it. There's also the sex worker robot girl. Ah, oh, Dorothy. She intrigues me, though. I've seen lots of steak workers over the years, and she seems pretty giddy. It's not that she likes her job, but rather that she takes it with such childish excitement. I've kind of noticed that, too, but then again, Lilum can be weird. You think? Lilum operate in some foreign logic. I mean, they don't really share our fear of mortality. Even if their bodies are destroyed, their minds are already backed up in the collective source. If they lose an arm, they can reattach it or replace it. Depending on the circumstances, they might not even feel pain at all. It's not like they haven't attained human-like emotion like fear or love, but they're different. Like a, like a different culture, if you must. Hmm. Huh. I didn't see it that way. Aside from that, Dorothy is a DFC-72. It's a social interactions model or something. Willem get positive reinforcement straight from their bodies if they're fulfilling their main purpose, so I'm guessing she gets a built-in push whenever she's in a meaningful or challenging social interaction. Interesting. The name Willem is a bit weird, though. It is? You'd expect them to be called bots or dolls, but Lilum doesn't convey the image of automatons. Just a tip. Bots or dolls are considered slurs by them. A bots is akin to calling them... <laughs> uh, that. <laughs> they will definitely get me fucking cancelled. And doll is like calling them fake. Thanks for the advice. That aside... <laughs> that aside, do you know why they're called Lilum? As far as I know, because they all come from a bigger AI called Lilith. And Lilum are Lilith's offspring in Jewish folklore. Oh, cool. Hey, speaking of names, why don't you like being called by your full name? Because it's an Evangelion Ah, <laughs> Yeah, of course. Gotta get that Eva reference in there. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't act stupid. Back when you were first transferred, I called you Julianne, and you almost tore me a new one with your glare. See? Like that. It's no big secret, but it's one of those things that feels silly when you say out loud. Try me. Well, did you ever watch Model Warrior Julianne? Not all of it, but my little sister's a big fan of the reruns. Back when I was in elementary school, I was a huge fan of the show. I had everything. From the dolls, the costumes, the lunchboxes. It didn't help that it was one of those shows that got... Strapped literally everywhere. I saw a couple episodes once. They were really nice. It's beyond nice. The show's about a model who can transform into an armor-clad magic knight. She fights demons born from greed and vanity. How the show prevent... Per, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I drank too many beers, Dana. How the show presented Jules hating her job because it invited enemies and yet still found solace in trying to be a role model. Hold on, hold on. I know how to do this. I know how to, I don't know how to go back. I'd say it was a pretty ambitious kids show. Even by today's standards, just the fact that her enemies were literally issues dealing with beauty standards of body image. Challenging as fuck! Whoa, well, like you got excited there. That is the problem. Back then I was obsessed with jewels. I sang the songs dressed like her. I could even recite full chapters. Full chapters, man! Something tells me you still can. That's beside the point. It was nice while I was in elementary school, but when I went to middle school and... <laughs> what a surprise! Tweens are jackasses. They went out of their way to tease me about things I did back then. 
I don't hold it against Jewel. I always hold grudges against those fuck jobs. Sounds rough. You know how most girls worry about their thighs at that age? I worried about jerkass singing the theme tune of the show and mocking me. Anyways, every time someone calls me Julianne or Jules, I instinctively react negatively. Pavlov would be proud of me. I never talk about it because I find the whole thing too silly in retrospect. And yet, it affects you even today. There's nothing wrong with it, though. It's actually kind of reasonable. I sure hope so. Come to think of it. What kind of kid were you, boss? When I was a toddler, I was the kind to always fight with kids bigger than me. The puberty happened and I became the Merriam-Webster definition of shallow jerkwad. Around the time I turned 16, I realized what an idiot I was and went on to become who I am today. And the less I talk about those years from 12 to 15, the better. Fair enough. <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> I too threw some punches, but it was more in elementary school when people called me. Fat, glasses, pizza face. All of those things went away in high school, but middle school was not kind to me. So I get that. Those are the chuny years. <laughs> yeah. Maury's punchy. Yeah, I was real uh, defensive when I was in middle school, but you had to be. Kids in art class would literally like squeeze sponges of like paint filled water over my art projects and the art teacher wouldn't do anything. You want to know why guys? Because their parents were the top donors to the school. <laughs> That's what happens when um gram grandma and grandpa reaper demand you go to a, a private middle school that they pay for. <laughs> yep. But I remember I was able to, like, not react to that stuff because I had just gotten into Gurren Lagan, <laughs> and that show had, like, given me discipline, I guess, somehow, knowing that my future would be brighter. I would watch those kids do that kind of shit to me, and I would just stare at them with nothing on my face, and they'd be, like, confused why I wouldn't react to them. Teachers wouldn't do anything, though, because, I mean, you know why. I just told you why super obvious, which is again why I stopped the whole private school bullshit after middle school. I was like, no more, please. Based Kamina, the power of anime on my side. I've got the power of God and anime on my side. See, anime is good for you. Well, life turned out happy for me in the end, so I'm good. It's fine. Everything that happened in my life led me to being here with you guys, so. Tizzy. 2D? Yes, I don't mind anything as long as that thing is cute or 2D. How about you? Oh my god, are you into- Do you like anime, Dana? Dana likes anime. Dana likes anime! Oh boy. Oh, thanks for the hearts, guys. I'm fine now. <laughs> I'm an adult. I'm okay now. 2D better than 3D? I have to agree with you on that one. <laughs> Dana likes anime. She likes anime characters. She's more attracted to anime characters. Oh man, Jill, I'm sorry. Um, Back in high school, I liked them funny. In college, I liked them successful. After a while, I just wanted them stable. And now... And now, I just want them to be my balls. You still get hearts. <laughs> Jill is 2D right now. True enough, hey boss. Look. Jill is 2D. Hey boss. <laughs> hey boss, look. Jill's anime. I don't know. I stopped caring about them being funny. My high school boyfriend started conflating cheering me up with mocking me when I'm down. I also stopped caring about them being successful. Whoever wrote this game has had a lot of real, real life experiences to be able to write what they have written here. I realized half the time they had no qualms about cheating with me or on me, and I stopped caring about them being stable. I realized they were the kind of person I was trying not to become. Not become... stable? 
There was this guy who became so obsessed with holding a stable job that he hated, he started being physically ill. Not only that, the last time I managed to get some, I ended up throwing the guy out. He took incredible offense with how I smoked on the bed after doing the deed. <laughs> Uh-oh. The bed could catch fire, you know. Not you too, boss. I kinda envy Alma for that. At least when she dumps a guy, it's for less petty reasons. <sighs> Sounds like Jill's got it rough. We gotta cheer her up. Jill asserting dominance. Hey, look. If that's what she wants to do after doing the deed, she's gotta make that known. If that's a deal breaker for her, she's gotta tell him, you know? Or else it's it was never gonna work anyways, right? Are you okay? I'm fine, it's just all this boils down to the fact that I can't get my mind off Lenore lately. She was... She was all of what I just said. She made me laugh. She had a good position and was stable. She was also smart, caring, and... Why can't I get my mind off the whole thing? It's... It's maddening. Uh... Maybe I should go and apologize. Maybe I should. Maybe that'll make me rest easier at night, get my mind off things for a while. I don't even care about going back to her, but... But... Ah! Hey, Jill, have you tried thinking about clothes for four? Clothes for... <laughs> Listen, I know how you must feel, but you can't let all that cloud your senses. Next time you feel overwhelmed by those thoughts, try distracting yourself. Like, let's say, thinking what kind of clothes you can put on for. Yeah. You know, boss, I'm a bit curious about your circle of friends, but what kind of people do you have in it? Keep in mind, you're included in this circle too, so any insults you hurl will apply right back to you. Anyways, I have this friend I've known for a long time. A red-headed glasses wearing gun nut called Iris. She used to be a VTuber back in the day and her hair was much darker. But she was a singer. The one you called for the helmet thing? That one. She's managing a BTC bar in Panama right now, if I remember correctly. She's managing a bar, too? I got the idea from her, actually. Oh. It's called N1RV and Ah, if you think this city was dangerous, you should see the people she has to deal with there. Piracy ain't nothing to fuck with! And means it's an annex to another business. What else does she do there? I think the bar was originally her hotel's bar. Maybe? Possibly? Potentially? She moved the bar to its own building elsewhere and opened N1 RV and B in the hotel instead. Weird decision. I believe she said she wanted to play she wanted a place away from the noisy rich tourists tourists and go to the hotel. So that bar is uh her woman cave. Woman cave. That aside, let's see, friends, friends. I guess there's also my little sister, but <laughs> that's a given. Oh! There's also my old partner from when I was with the Neo San Francisco police to department for the same shit. Good old Lexi. Should give her a call sometime. Wait, you were in the... What? I've done... Lots of things, Jill. I spent a short time collaborating with the police force. I've been a wrestler, an MMA fighter... Chimney cleaner, lumberjack, pet attendant, corporate mascot. Corporate what? I still see my face on some websites from time to time. Wait. Were you the mascot for that one thing? Anyways, aside from you, Gil, my sis, Iris, and Lexi, hmm, I guess there's a lot of people that don't want to see me in harm's way. Mostly because they're the ones that want to hurt me. What about you? I guess I have acquaintances here and there. Back at home and in college, I went out a lot. But it felt more like going out was the pleasure rather than the people involved. Aside from you and Gil, my closest friend since moving, moving here is... Alma... Ah! And Dorothy. I mean, sure, there's always four, but that cat's a hermit that refuses to go out. And you know, he's, a uh, A cat. Hey, cat's fine too, you know? 
boss. Hey, boss. Mm. How did you lose your V card? V, huh? You know, your V card, your first time, you're deflowering. Oh, that little. I'm legally bound to not disclose that information. Does that mean you lost it? Can't disclose that information. Come on, just give me a hint. Chill, bad things will happen for everyone if that info is revealed in any way. All right, all right. Sheesh. Wow, Jill's getting kind of... <laughs> Jill's getting real open with the... Uh, with both. You really don't need to ask the both those questions. Jill, hold up. Have a potato stick, Jill. Things are getting juicy. Hold on. Jill. You got Jill super drunk. It's true. I'm glad she hasn't fallen asleep yet. Her VTuber card. Ooh. Back in the day, I was a VTuber named Calliope Mori. That's right. I'm 80 something years old. <laughs> I'm fucking with y'all. I'm a million years old, Mori Doc, so fuck. Guess I better stop the stream. No. I'm having too much fun. It's the lore! Hold on, apple juice bottle. I need more apple juice. Am I drunk? I've been drinking apple juice the entire night, bro. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. What did I put in the apple juice? Ice, goddammit! No one will believe me. No matter what I say about the apple juice, no one will fucking believe me. I'll remember this, Dead Beats. I'll remember that you never believed me. <laughs> About the apple juice. Aged apple juice. Shut the fuck up, apple juice the shot of whiskey. Whatever, man. <laughs> anyway, we're continuing with the story. I can only say this. The whole thing is related to my mechanical arm. Great, now you're just teasing me. Any reason you want to know that? Well, everyone's first time is always a mess, but... I've always to know if it was a messy time is mine. I think the writer said I want I've always wanted to know if it was as messy a time as mine. What are they talking about, you guys? What happened? Well, I got all lovey dovey with my first boyfriend and we both got naked. I Huh? When I saw it. <laughs> their debut stream what are you talking about i started laughing someone died that day oh wow okay listen listen to me i'm speaking to you as a completely neutral party i'm speaking to you as a neutral party don't you want the person that you're with to feel good about themselves shouldn't you hold back that kind of thing Jill? What? Got nervous? Nervous? No, I just find dicks funny. Okay, well, that's different. <laughs> if it's not about the size, then... <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Jill! God, no wonder it didn't work out. I wonder if he'll ever recover. I feel really sorry for him. I didn't... Weirdly enough, I don't feel bad for Jill. <laughs> I feel bad for whoever she was with. <laughs> It's just funny. Well, if they're just funny looking, that's one thing, but you, uh-huh, you guys are getting some real girls talk right now, by the way. You guys will never hear this ever in your lives, except for now. To be fair, they are kind of funny. So I've heard. What pictures I've been spooked with on the internet. 
without consent, without my consent, images I've found without knowing. Yeah, I guess so. They're funny. They're <laughs> that was sack attached. <laughs> they crow. Shut up, Jill. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Stop talking. Stop talking. <laughs> they just. <laughs> They're just stupid meat rods. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so how did your first... How did your boyfriend react? <laughs> but Mori really is chill. <laughs> no! <laughs> <coughs> Come on, it doesn't get this bad with me. It gets bad, but it doesn't get this bad. You went flaccid from the left. <laughs> it just shrunk and went limp. Jill, that's not a good thing. <laughs> you probably hurt his feelings. Mori Calliope, laugh at Pee Pee. Shut up. Jill, no. <laughs> that's not what you want. He's still crying to this day. You traumatized him! <sighs> I'm sorry, Jill. I like you and whatever, but that makes me upset. <laughs> I don't care if it's a lie. You be nice to him. God damn it. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm projecting too much, but if if Mori Calliope appeared before you guys with less than the dress and you guys laughed at what you saw, it'd be sad. You know? That's the kind of shit that scars people. <laughs> I don't want anyone to feel that way. One round of therapy, please. Yeah, me too. Damn. I don't know. That would just that would make me sad. You know? I understand it's supposed to be a funny joke and PPs look funny and whatever, but you wouldn't laugh. I don't know. I just I think chat would be ecstatic. Yeah, I guess. But what if you got what if it what if you guys didn't know who I was and whatever? I just I don't know. I I would feel sad. I don't want anyone else to feel sad because you laugh at their body like that. I know it's just a game. I know it's just a game, but <laughs> this is why Jill and I aren't alike because I wouldn't laugh at something like that. Even if I had to tell a lie, even if it was funny, I'd do my best to hold back, you know? That's just me personally, though. People are different. I understand why Jill feels that way. She's different than me in that she's out there with the way that she feels, and I admire that about her, but she's got her reasons, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I give it up. I don't know. I just don't want people to feel bad about how they look, you know? If I'm with somebody, I want them to feel good about themselves, you know? I appreciate Jill's honesty, though. I will say that she's got this sense of honesty that I really do admire. That I can't replicate. Sorry. It's so hard. They're just so stupid. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Uh, stupid meat rods, Jill. Uh, uh. Oh damn it! I did drink too much, huh? Uh. Less than dress. <laughs> Less than dress is what it's called. Less than dress. <clears throat> well, let's see how to move her back inside before she catches the cold. Aw, oh, Jill passed out. I'm sorry, Jill. Had to do it to ya. Nah, this is the end. And she's out cold. And you killed her. Good job, Callie. Thanks, it's my job. I do my best. If you hadn't, you would have missed this gem of dialogue. True enough. Oh, it's snowing! We're getting close to Mega Christmas, you guys. Are you ready? Oh, chapter one complete. Nice. Next chapter two, Amarga. Chapter two, we made it to chapter two, guys. How many chapters are there, if I may ask? Your electricity bill will be sent out on the 24th. Please make sure you have 8,000. 
the 8,000 Nia, Jill is curious about a Daruma. She's not getting one will prevent her from getting distracted. Daruma, ne? Daruma. I just called a Daruma? Wait, hold on. Crack Daruma. Thank you. And next, I'm gonna make my room look fancy. One hell of a story, Callie. I like you. Oh boy, money. Three chapters. Oh, okay, cool. So we're making some headway. Nah, this doesn't look enough like the boss. Wait, I need to see what color the boss's eyes are, but I don't think this is it. Uh, let's see what's on the table. Bullets! Haha, <laughs> guns! What do we got here? <laughs> Red? <laughs> Incredible. I don't have enough to get this cool one right here, but her eyes are dark red. All right, so it's not the boss. But that would be funny. Can't afford much more. We may as well save. What's up with the news? Danger <laughs> slash use admin has been arrested. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hold on. First GSF January 4th card. Blood feud between the giant Yusuke and 66 American kid will release his climax. Are these rappers? But it's not the only match of the night. Oh, wait. Is this like YouTubers fighting in a boxing ring? Red Comet Jr. versus Nagisa Women's Championship. Osuna versus Siege Free. Nano Camo is now making smart underwear. Underwear you can change with the voice command with something you really wanted in your life. Nano Cam has you covered. Already providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric, nano machine sun. They plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with a spoken word. No more stains in your white panties. Why would there be stains there? They're white. Just change its color to black and you'll barely notice. What are you talking about? That's the opposite. It's the fucking opposite, you idiot. I won't change the smell though. They're not advanced. Use a washing machine. Have you thought about using a washing machine? We expect an increase in sales next year thanks to this innovative product. A PR representative told the augmented eye, I'm already using them super comfy, if you ask me. Use MeUndies. Sponsored by MeUndies. Danger use admin has been <laughs> arrested again. For <laughs> retribution, second retribution, yeah. Keep coping and seething, idiot. Famous hacker Alice Rabbit graced the popular text board Danger slash you with a new threat. Which resulted in the arrest of the site's admin, known as Fur Fur, for a second time. We have no details given. We have no details to give, other than that he was arrested as a- Wait, he? Shut the fuck up. No, definitely a woman. Was arrested as a part of an ongoing investigation, cybercrime unit. Lisette Blanc told the Augmented Eye during the call, We are now busy tracking down the message that appeared yesterday. When inquired about the arrest, Fur Fur would only respond with a calm, Not this shit again. Yeah, sounds like somebody who would post on Danger You, of course. Always the calm, laid back, not easy to, uh, to get excited about things. We've got three new threads. Dana is literally the mascot for Sukeban Games, the developers of this game. Taruhodana? Unless confirmed otherwise, Apollo Bank is getting attacked. There are three threads about this! Where's the first thread? Media is still awfully quiet about it. Augmented Eye talked about it. Maybe somebody lost their job due to that one rogue article. This is from Kim. She's always trying to write serious shit, but I think Adobe After Effects got tired of her fucking shame. So all we'll get now is clickbait. I'm gonna get worse at the very least. White Knights say there's a lot of people inside the building. At least three people already dead. How is someone there shooting people? Looks like it was the security from the building. Sounds weird as fuck. Come on, Insider and on. You gotta give us more. Doing my best here. Thanks, based and on. Well, they aren't based yet. They haven't given a shit. Explosion registered. And media still quiet about it. Can, can confirm there's an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. There's more bombs, not just one. That's right. Do we have any clue as to who's doing this? I'm hearing from several sources that this is a group, a new one, looking to overthrow the government. No names have been mentioned, and it looks like not a group, but just one person was who was set up by this. That's pretty ballsy, and this is just a rumor around here, but Alice Rabbit might be involved. How? A hacker is helping out hostages to escape, and they're suspected of Alice. Someone doing stupid shit on the internet is being actually useful. <laughs> based on, based on what? Shut up, stop, it's so old. 
can confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage is actually pretty unsettling. Damn. The file is available from approximately 60,000 sources, terabytes that contain all operations from the Glitch City government and White Knight operations. It seems the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the servers inside the bank, which had the files under several layers of physical security. That shit sounds whack. How do you even make a plan this complex? No idea, but that's what some of the witnesses are telling the police. Looks like I have to leave, but I'll try to write down all the details for a future post. Gonna need time, though. Godspeed and on. Thanks. Wow. Actually doing shit. Good for y'all. Anyway, that's danger slash you. Go to work. Monday, December 19th, and we're getting very close to Mega Christmas. Good evening, Gil. <coughs> oh, hey guys! He's alive. Good to see that. That's going down. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? Come on now. I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving for so many days without notice. Uh, see you, Jill. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What? You gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Mm, not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Well, thanks a lot, Met Laser. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried. Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry too much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would ya? Fine, fine. Hey, Bo. Why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Ugh, getting so friend-zoned by the boss. I'm sorry, Jill. That sucks. Why? Partly because they didn't feel right taking it, but mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. <laughs> uh, I, I see. Don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours. It's just preserving cuteness is one of my principles. R right. Um, boss, about last night, I think I said one too many things and... Uh... So what? Drunk banter is something you see every day. It's not like I'm going to think less of you because of it. Relax. If anything, I feel closer to you after seeing you so wasted. Oh. So yeah, don't give it much thought. <laughs> Stupid meat rods. <laughs> Shit. What the fuck did I say? Nothing, let's go! Are you okay? Your face is red! Jill, you got smashed because the Reaper told you to get smashed. I'm sorry, Jill, but I'm also not sorry because that was fucking funny. <laughs> it was a little funny, Jill, you have to admit. <laughs> you have to admit it was a little funny. <laughs> Meat rod, steak, steaks. Ooh. You guys are smarter than me. It's super funny. LOL. Thanks, Deadbeat. Glad you think so. Are you okay? Your face is red. I'm fine! Jukebox time, Deadbeats. Let's go! Let's see. Neon light, every day is night. 
Drive me wild. All systems go where they go from here. Will you remember me? Everything will be okay. March of the White Knights. Time to... Mix to drinks time to lives change. Ayako? Uh, Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. We got a new character here. <coughs> this is gonna be my worst shitty low voice voice without a modifier. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Hey, boss. Some Brian guy's looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. She'll, um, you heard her. It's all right. I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's, uh... Um, I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position. Anyways, handle me like I'm just another client. It's critical! <laughs> Set the counter down to zero. <clears throat> Alright, I can do that. Can I get you, Mr. Brian? Hiro Neko san, arigato Yes! Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. Let's see. Alright, sugar rush, fine. I can make that. What if boss is straight? Then we get over it. Oh my god, I can hear it. Moist Jesus is eternal. Alright, let's see. One. I don't hear it. All right. Well, then <laughs> you have impaired. You have issues with your your hearing devices with your two ears. How heavy? Heavy as fuck. Kill him. Kill him. All mixed. Can't unhear it now. Good. It's the most men. Goofy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. Why every time, Callie? Because fuck you. Getting <laughs> boss's boss wasted a professional approach? I would say so. Big UPS that drinks moist. And they're the most basic thing, but people can still mess up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh? You never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Dana has talked quite a bit about you. Really? Then I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks! Don't mention it. Now where to start? You saw the news on the information leaked during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members for criminal organizations in their ranks? Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least, not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to con time to da 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 cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it is apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla. Any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. 
So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get X, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. <clears throat> You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry. Oh, nothing. Don't, don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are in a are a p -p 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 a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much saliva! Think low sales be a problem. The voices are getting unhinged. Yeah, what do you expect? The further we get into this game, I gotta come up with something. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Ah, uh, yeah, suplex. Get me one of those, please. Sure. Let's give Brian a suplex! Let's suplex him into the ground. Make him die. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just love making big drinks. On the rocks, mixed. Here you go. <coughs> Serve. Here. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Uh, so you're Robert. Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Jill called you Gil, though. Uh, it's Argentinian slang. R Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, Brian. I was sorting some stuff out at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Oh. Any other questions, Jill? I really know. Although... Yeah. If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders. A top-notch bartender. Thanks! No, if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Oh, Jill-sama is here! Oh, Jill-sama! I like doing her voice. I get to do a bunch of voice cracks. Or at least, at least I get to practice a bunch of voice cracks. Ali Joel, back at it again. Back at it again. BTC liver implants? What the fuck? <laughs> ah! Sorry. So <clears throat> Argentinian. Indeed. I didn't know Gil was from Argentina. Hey. Not a Um. Um. Gil. Wasn't it? Ah, oh, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Mm. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella and get me a big beer, please. Ah, oh, sure. On it. Stella asked for a beer. I hope she's okay and I hope Say's okay. I've been thinking about her. I hope she's okay. No, not on the ice. Reset. I've been hoping she's okay. She hasn't left my mind. She's such a cutie. One, two, four. Okay, all mixed. Here you go. Here you go. Uh, are you sure you're fine? Um, you know. 
Say, right? Oh, please, no, game. Please, no. Of course. What's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during that whole affair and... Oh. Right, that. So she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. Well, that's good news, right? Right? That's good news if she didn't show up on the body count, yeah? As much as I'd love to say that I had... Yeah, I figured as much. <sighs> Man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. <sighs> I mean, I could tell her everything will be alright, but that would sound a bit... Condescending? What does one do in this kind of situation? I don't know, chat. Do you guys know? <laughs> Maybe a joke? Nah. That'd be tasteless. Okay, just... Try and say anything. At least... At the very least, you'll break the tension. God, this is so fucking awkward. What do we do? More alcohol. <laughs> Still missing, but there is hope. Maybe distracting her will be enough. I don't think clearly went under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh... There was a, uh... Private eye here the other day. Continue to act awkwardly usually in the winter. Her crush might be dead. Free drink! I want Jill. Jill is here, always. Hi! Sorry, I'm... A bit on edge. A private detective, I take it. Yeah, maybe you'll want his services. He spoke with this weird nasally sound that I think Calliope Mori came up with. What's his name? I believe it was Art Van... No, Von Delay. Oh, that Art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. So you still have hope. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now, and I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. She really cares about Say. Aww. This is sad to see. I'd be the same with anyone else. Any other friend of mine. Or anyone else I cared about. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about, say, whatever they might be. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve any problems with the swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry! No, it's, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something sweet. That'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Let's give Swell give Swella, <laughs> Stella something sweet to calm her down. All right, the craziest sweet drink that I can give her. If I can make it more alcoholic than possible, then that's what we want, is it not? Blue Fairy's got that optional karma tree in which we like a lot. Well, it's not Moon Blast, Sparkle Star. Sparkle Star has a optional karma tree and possibility for a lot of karma tree in. So, I could get her. Let's see. Where's any... Blue Fairy is the one with the optional Karma Tree, which we like. Sparkle Star has also got optional Karma Tree, but it's a matter of what can I load up her drink? Yeah, okay, so I'm not... I'm looking more for Sparkle Star right now. Either Sparkle Star or Sugar Rush. Let's do Sparkle Star and let's make it a big one. Or rather, instead of a big one, let's load it up with alcohol so I can hear everything she has to say to me. I want her to confess her love to me. She needs to admit it. She needs to admit her feelings. Oh, it's supposed to be aged. Fuck my life. Okay. I only read it afterward. Excuse me, everyone. Wait, no. Excuse me, sorry. It's almost 2 a.m. It's been a long day. I want to hear everything you have to say. 
I want you to pour your heart out to me, my friend. I'm sorry, I want to get everyone drunk. I don't know what else to tell you. All aged, all mixed. All right, there we got the sparkle star. All right, here. Thanks. Seems like you really like say. See, Jill is on the same page as me. All right, she knows what we're trying to do. I don't have brothers or sisters and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So Say is more than a friend to me. She's... She is... <sighs> Sorry I brought that topic up at a bad time. <clears throat> <sighs> Don't worry about it. She's in love with her. She loves her. As I was saying. She's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. So you're in love with her. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that <laughs> level of... Trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar. Making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Well, you said you can love your friends. True enough. She does love her. Maybe she loves her in the same way that I love all the myth girls. I don't know. I don't like to dig too deeply into people's private lives, but... If you love someone, you love them. And you care about them, regardless if there's anything romantic about it or not. Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. So, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break and you could use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. <sighs> Ridiculous. But it would be cool to take my break with a customer that isn't just, you know, my boss or Alma or something. Okay then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me! Gil will take care of things, for sure. Rejected. I'll get her someday. Trust me, guys. I'll get her eventually. I'll make her like... I'll, I'll make her like me like a friend that you can take breaks with. Someone that'll put up with your smoking habits, I guess. At least in Jill's case. Now it's safe to keep playing. God damn! Damn, it is chilly outside. Well, it's December, motherfucker. What did you think? Hello from Russia. Howdy. Morty go- M Morty? 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 Morty going for the harem ending. Yes, I want everyone. Because I like all the characters. I want all of them to be my girlfriends and boyfriends. All right. Uh, same jukebox. Because I don't like to change it midnight. That's like pussying out. Ready. I'm but. Eh? Art? Art's here. I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in. Cat boomer girl greets him. They start talking. Oh, I see. So I need to prepare the voice for Art. Everything was okay until the girl mentions I bought the core offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started bad-mouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Well, I won't deny Zaibatsukor is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has an enhanced the quality of life here. Huh. Yeah, if my enhanced you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around your neck. Can't you see those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But the game, that will be ba 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 ba. Then again, I would expect a kid, <laughs> a kid, to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But. Can you deny the meddling of Zaibatsu Corps has brought a cute a, 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 a few benefits? Like what? 
the AI integration program they started is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program. I get it. This guy's the Zaibatsu core. Super obvious. Nice. A limp biscuit came up. <laughs> no, stop. Meaning that they we're also the world's little present. AI went rogue, transfer it to be a delivery drone to our ship to the glitched city, but I have glasses. That murder is now delivering your pizza. Fair point. Although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. That doesn't... They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um... What the fuck are y'all talking about? Are y'all good? Zaibatsu shill detected. Kill him! Just shoot him in the head. The city also has a stronger economy. Zaibatsu Corps' success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet in your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. All right, guys, listen. Valhalla Bar, three rules. No money, no religion, no politics. Leave it at the door, get the fuck out. I wish I could say, but it's the boss's bar, so I can't say that shit. Those are the rules that actually Grandpa Mori told me you should never bring up in conversations. That's just what he said, though. Don't talk about money, don't talk about religion, don't talk about politics. I've always got no money in base. <laughs> That's what Grandpa Mori told me. <laughs> no money? I mean, makes sense. The last time I talked about money with someone that was in my vicinity, they told me about what it would be like when you see your first million in your bank account. They were like, oh, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. It won't be that crazy to you. You won't even feel anything. And I just remember thinking to myself, wow, what a flex. Like, what a completely unsubtle flex. You didn't have to tell me at all that you were a millionaire, but you decided to do that by saying that to me. <laughs> In my opinion, just don't talk about money. Bye. <laughs> just like, who cares? If you're my friend, you're my friend. I don't care how much is in your bank account. Who gives a fuck? A million is a lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a lot of money, but I don't need to know that my friend has that in their bank account. Who gives a fuck? I'm friends with you because you're my friend. I like your personality. I like what you do. But you are a millionaire. I'm not, actually. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I will say that to you guys. I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> After everything, because guys, there's a thing called taxes. There's a thing called taxes and splitting with your company. So no, I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> Believe it or not, shook. I'm not. I'm very well off, but I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> You'll be a millionaire one day. Well, that's why I'm working super hard, so I cannot worry about life someday. But that's just me right now, I guess. <laughs> So I can live a chill life in the countryside and get off the internet forever. <laughs> no, maybe not forever. I wouldn't want to leave you guys in the dark forever. That would make me sad. Especially if it was because of you guys that I got to be so well off. I'd want to at least up update you guys on how I'm doing, but... I don't know. If I got that amount of money, I'd want to retire in a super quiet, chill place where I could just be in a rocking chair looking at the sunset, you know? A more billionaire! <laughs> IRS got nothing on ca I pay my taxes. <laughs> I pay my taxes. They're stupid expensive, but I pay them. I don't want to go to jail. Fuck that shit. <laughs> a quiet place sounds nice. Yeah, just somewhere chill where I cannot worry about the internet. But because of you guys, I don't want to update you every once in a while. It wouldn't feel right to just disappear out of nowhere and go live a happy life, you know? So, I promise you, no matter... No matter what form I may be in, I'll be there to update you guys on how I'm doing. I promise that, but I don't know. Internet these days is so freaking cancerous. I mean, I don't know how, like, I don't know what other way to say it, but it really makes you want to unplug sometimes, but I needed to talk to you guys. 
And you know what? If it means I have to look at some shitty stuff to be able to talk to y'all, I think it's worth it, personally. Will you finally relax? I think so. That's why I'm working so hard right now. These two got me thinking again. God damn it. Retired Mori's daily cat videos. Need Mama Mori to help me out with those. You know, outrage culture got pretty crazy, yeah. Yeah, kind of makes me never want to look at the internet again. <laughs> I never want to open up Twitter again for the rest of my life. <laughs> Just because I mean, ah, so many bad takes, even if you aren't following those people. Such bullshit. They need to, they need to fix it. Anyway, first, more billionaire. I don't need to be a millionaire. As long as I can, like, chill for the rest of my life, which thanks to you guys, I think I can. I'm happy. You know. This isn't me saying I'm gonna stop, by the way. I appreciate you guys too much. I want to keep going, but... It's thanks to y'all I can just retire to the countryside after all of this. Anyway. <clears throat> Sorry, what were we talking about? I got sidetracked talking to my dead bees. Excuse me. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. See, these are the these are the talks in the bar you don't want to hear about. Ah, uh, Zybotsu Corps' main medical research brand has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. Well, it's amazing for those who could afford them. Meanwhile, down here we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Okay, cool. This is a diplomatic conversation. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All of the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? <laughs> Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey, you don't just sit there. Give me a Zen star. Sure. I mean, she got him there. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but... If she's right, she's right. I don't know about the politics of this world, but if she's right, she's right. Not my job to come up with a good retort. That's your job. Maybe after I feed you this drink, you'll come up with what you want to fucking say. I'm sure you've got a good response. No, don't age it. Give it your best, my man. All on the rocks and mix. All right, Zenstar. Here you go. Here! God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. Exactly! You gotta remember the privileged self. Important. That doesn't mean you're not allowed to your own opinion, though. You're definitely entitled to your own opinion, despite the privilege. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, they're still a luxury belonging only to a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. I don't know. The more people from different backgrounds you get talking about something, the more close to, like, an equal center we get, I think, personally. That doesn't take away the fact there have been positive changes. I put a little nasal in there, excuse me. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Yeah, Estelle is cool as shit. She could have gone full defense mode like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I was born in poverty. She's been really chill about it. Very cool. I respect that. Estelle is very cool. The discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. Holy fuck, I like her so much. The only people afraid of discussion are those whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Can I marry her? <laughs> Can I marry her? She's so willing to listen to other people, but also give her own opinion. I love her. <laughs> yeah, but sure, whatever. Meanwhile, you can die, sir. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. She's taken already, sadly. Oh, I say? That's fine. I support that pairing. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when I opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, dot, 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 leaving us waiting. 
you can marry all these best girls in the girls' frontline collab. Is that a fag? Or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. <laughs> did, did you call him here? No, he just happened to come by here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks, keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope it's the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling you the truth, Say might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Well, just get me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <laughs> On it. Stop laughing about the bad touch. Stop it. Stop laughing about it. Two, four, six. That's ten, so I can make them big ones. I make them big ones because we're all going through tough times, aren't we, dead bees? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. On the rocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All on the rocks. And mixed. There we go. See, I'm, I'm nice. <laughs> Everything is better big. I mean, yeah. We've got a big debate going on here. We gotta hear what they gotta say. <laughs> Continuing onward. I remember this one party I went to. The guy that I came with the name came up with the name of this drink. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me, though. <laughs> Imagine a guy shows up and tells you I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? I... <laughs> 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 now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Von Delay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose and she happened to be at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about with Say is people. Eh? <laughs> Why's that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself. Well, I once saw her take care of a war bot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Huh? Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... Something wrong? No, nothing. I just... <sighs> realized I forgot about all that. Say is not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. Why is my camera not sensing me? There it goes. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. I just hope she's well, wherever she is. She owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Von Delay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay, then I'll have a piano band. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine, get his order. One piano man for the detective? Sing us a song of a piano man! 
sorry. I can't help myself sometimes. One, two, three, four. Well, we're all in the mood for a melody. Hey, you've got us feeling all right. That's as close as I'll ever get to singing this fucking song on my stream. <laughs> Sing us a song, copyright things. Here. So this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. All right, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. Very cool of you, Art, to get a drink from this fine, beautiful Ojo-sama right over here, and then you fucking leave, idiot. What the fuck is wrong with you? I could beat the shit out of you, you fucking piece of shit. Look at him. Little glasses. Smash those fucking glasses, you fucker. I'll let them know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Right then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on Say's situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. You should hire someone else. Fuck that guy. He sucks. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks, this place is soothing. I'll just go sit over there near the arcade. All right, then that'll be all Dana's- All- hold on, excuse me. All right, that'll be all Dana. Quite a mess, the situation with um, Robert. This was my regular voice, actually. Quite a mess, the situation with um, Robert. And someone says, Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6, Hal C. I'll see you right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Oh, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Jill, we'll be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Um... This holophone's an old mo old model, so hanging up's a bit laggy. Is this person- uh, I'm Jill. Say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone. And wouldn't you say it's more interesting than what- They finally hang up. Whew, it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. I ha- <coughs> What? Arrives yet- <coughs> Oh god, the majestic hall of heroes! Calm until now. It's Virgillo! Oh my god, fucking yeah! Fuck yeah, Virgillo! Oh. I'm s I'm sorry, I almost forgot about Virgillo. It's pronounced Virgillo. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said so much the last time you came. Pronunciations are silly things society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced to everyone. You look winded, Virgilio. We are a little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us up anymore. And yet, you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. <laughs> That's so. I was joking. Dressed like that? I can joke however I want. Is Ollie here? Ollie! Yeah! What did Ollie say? Oh god, Virgilio looking snaz. You like him, Ollie? Well, give him a smooch? So does all of chat, so you gotta fight them. Good luck. Yes, you can. I say to Virgilio. Virgilio! What can I get you? Something fake. Of course. Something fake. Alright, time to read every single name. Let's see. Traditional beer. Not necessarily brown. Maybe this one? The Bleeding Jane? That could be good. Make your teeth turn blue. Uh... I'm looking for the word fake, but I don't know. Uh, 
frothy water beer oh you're right actually because it's not the real thing that's right in this universe beer is not actually beer you guys are right thank you for the help i should have figured that out on my own but i didn't don't age it okay let's see let's see if this works all mix here you go now tell me why this is fake because i didn't even try your expectations of giving me a, giving a damn about the abstract order are fake say virgilio where do you work I'll take the Nova Gear Ease of QA out of the same punk museum. Really? What do you do? I'll study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people who visit the premises. The Nova Gear Ease of Been Hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me stop touching the exhibits and I'll break them. The nervous are people. Huh? He still fails to realize I'm the creator, I'm the killer, and uh, without me, all these machines would be rusty and they're already off. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why well, can't the owner realize that too? Um. Yeah, he's a janitor. <laughs> so you're the janitor, huh? No, I see, Virgilio. Okay, okay. I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay, then, tough for the change, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. He wants purity. I can't give him pure ingredients, so, um... Let's just look and see... If there's anything that hints at being pure. He's got so many riddles, I kind of want to kill him. I'm looking for the word pure first. Maybe a uh, spiritus? Well, I got this one actually doesn't matter at all. Pure alcohol. Fringe weaver? <laughs> I was thinking Fringe Weaver, too. What if we just said, fuck you, idiot? Drink my Fringe Weaver, you big dumb fuck. I'm not even gonna make it a big one. I'm just gonna say, die, idiot. I hate you. Well then, Fringe Weaver is right here. And it's aged and also mixed. Here you go. How is this pure? It's a drink! It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Oh, yes, beautiful. Huh. <sighs> oh. Are you the guy over there? Me? Yes, you. I've been back before. Can't remember, maybe? Yeah, I think. No, 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 no. We haven't met ever at all. That's an interesting reaction. Oh, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? Not a face. The eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever at all, never, ever, ever. Been talking to your boss in there. Um, well, the fact that he left so quickly means they defo have met. Did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Dimension it. Mm. Hold on. Are we done for the day? Yup, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit, that Virgilio guy. So you two actually met before? Yeah, you can say that. What? What? Gill stuff, don't mind it. Who are you talking about to Brian? Well, we were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to uh, explain the situation with uh, Robert here. 
He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Uh. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So, it's a guy? An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. Hmm. Jealous. Jealous. She's jealous. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? You, yeah. It must be nothing. And that's the end of the day, folks! Uh, Brian told me to give you this. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. Your electricity bill will be sent on the 24th. You need the 8,000. Jill's a bit tense. Buying a shoulder massager will prevent her from getting too distracted. Have a nice day. I'll buy you a shoulder massager. Have fun, bitch. Yay, she will surely focus at work. Have a nice day. With that being said, uh, another day in the books. I guess that's all for today. Um, I shall stream Valhalla uh, sometime when I'm back from the States, which will be soon-ish, I guess. It might be a little bit, but as soon as I'm back from the States, I'll stream Valhalla again. Thanks so much, you guys! I'm gonna go read your super chats now. So with that being said, thank you so much for coming to Bar Mori today. I'm your Mori. I hope you'll remember me. I'm doing my best here. I'm glad you guys had so much fun at my bar of silliness. Thanks a lot for everything. You guys are the best. Thank you to my new members who joined. I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, I guess that's all for now, so... For those of you sticking around, I'll see you shortly. For those of you heading out, see you tomorrow for My Dad is the Queen of All VTubers manga read along. And uh, yeah, catch you on the flip side. Bye, everyone! Peace! Later!
Hey guys, it's me, your boy. Hi. Hello. Um, I have a question. I started feeling really sick all of a sudden, and um, I'm wondering um, if you guys would be cool with me moving the super chats to tomorrow after my dad is the queen of all VTubers. I'm doing a super chat reading stream because that's the actual time that I have to do the super chat reading. Is that cool with you guys if I move it to then? To tomorrow? If that's cool with y'all? Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. I was surprised. I stood up and I got a drink of water and I was like, I need to go to sleep now or I'm going to die. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go rest. <laughs> Thanks a lot, y'all. I appreciate it. Um, tomorrow, after my dad is the queen of all VTubers, we will do a super chat reading stream. And I shall tackle these supers at that time. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate it. Hope you rest well. Thanks so much, you guys. I hope you guys take it easy. Please have a lovely day. I'm looking forward to reading your super chats tomorrow. Um, and yeah, take care of yourselves. You guys are the best. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. If you guys left a super chat here and you want it read tomorrow, uh, after my stream tomorrow, I will have a super chat reading stream. Please look forward to it. And I will see... You guys, then thank you so much, everyone. You guys are the best. I really appreciate it. I suddenly started feeling really weird, so I needed to go rest a little bit to figure out what's going on. So, um, yeah, thanks a lot, you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the hearts as well. You guys take care of yourselves, okay? Thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon, okay? See you tomorrow for a fun manga reading stream and then super chats as well. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <gasps> Peace. Later, everyone.